minecart distress intensifies. Yes, the, the, the minecart, the make or break of every single dizzy run. I don't think I'm going to finish this now. I'm not expecting to finish this tonight, but I'm going to have fun. It's a, it's a good game. It's a nostalgic game. You know, you've just got to kind of remember it all and what to do. But it's a fun one. It's a savage one because you run out of lives and it's game over the end. <clears throat> Hopefully I can raise you back sometime. Oh gosh, you'll be <laughs> you'll be struggling to ever catch a barley bat raid. But it might happen if, if you ever do one of your afternoon raids. Fantastic Dizzy. In fact, just that music, I want to hear it again. That music is so nostalgic and nice and pleasant. This doesn't use gems, does it? Or does it? It can't do, it's too pretty. Let me know if I need to turn it up as well, because Air of the Acrobat was hella loud. I might even just for a smidge anyway. Is that better? This looks cute. It is a cute. I honestly think you would like this one, Cobra. It's like slightly like a point and click, but it's also a platformer. The only thing is, is you should just make like generous save state checkpoints to enjoy it, I think. Don't play it how it was originally intended. I think you'll just get mad. <clears throat> Pleasant, like a certain acrobat. He's a domestic bat. This is an egg. Yeah, they're all eggs. It's actually a really old franchise. It's a British franchise, and there was lots of them on the Spectrum and other consoles, well, computers. And then this was sort of like a homage kind of remix one. This is the one that I grew up playing, though, but my older brother grew up playing the older ones. He is domestic. Humpty Dumpty. I think you might have seen me do this before, a little bit. Daisy is being captured by the evil wizard Zax. Only Dizzy is brave and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate, leaving the safety of the Yoke Folk's treehouse village. Dizzy sets out on his greatest adventure. Although this is a bit weird with my headphones, like, some of the audio only comes out one side. looks a bit familiar yeah I think I showed it you for like 10 minutes once like many months ago when you were just popping in but the objective is we have to get all 250 stars before we can go and fight the wizard Zax and we have to use various items and stuff along the way so where's the thing where's the thing that opens the there we go Home sweet home, you're in your very own treehouse hut, carrying Dizzy's door key, and we can use it to get out. They made an iPhone game as well of this, and I was... I quite enjoyed it, but it's been pulled now. You can't even get it. It's a bit annoying. I don't remember the order of what to pick up stuff. I feel like a lot of British kids grew up playing this one. There's Pogi, is it? If you like the Dizzy games as well, Retro, there's quite a lot of them on that Ant stream, is it? Those are like the spiders in Potful Mail. I really want to play Potful Mail. I was watching a lot of the music and it's so good. A large stronger plan of what the Kizzy for Denzel's elevator. I don't think we need Denzel's elevator key yet, so I might just leave it there. Pop for Mail has been on my to-do list for forever. I, ha I have the SNES version, but I want to play the Mega CD one first, I think. Ow. You will love it, hopefully. What? <laughs> Key for the ground elevator. That's what I want. So now we can use the elevator whenever. He's so cute. I never know with you. I w oh, no, I think I will like it. It reminds me a lot of Ease. I also think that if you were enjoying Potful Mail, I don't know, what is it that you like about Potful Mail? Do you like the gameplay? Because you should really try Holy Umbrella on the Super Nintendo. 
I have shown you that a little bit before, I think, if you remember. Because I was trying to convince you to play it, but... It is a lot like... It's got the same sort of gameplay with the different characters and side-scrolling. In fact, let's go get rid of that plant right now. You love the gameplay? Well then, try Holy Umbrella. It's not as polished. <coughs> it's a Japan-only game, but there's a fan translation. I haven't played the fan translation though, so I don't know how good it is, but... It's probably good. But it's the same sort of thing, that like a bit like an RPG, like you can walk around the towns and talk to people. I don't remember what the rope's for. You can walk around the town and talk to people, but then also it's like a side-scrolling platformer action thing, and you change characters and they've got different powers. Hot for last such tight controls. Holy Umbrella doesn't, unfortunately. It's a little bit it's a little bit janky at times. It's got a really zany, weird story, though. It would probably be really fun on your channel, too, because I think a lot of people won't know it. So they'll it'll be kind of something interesting, new to see. If you wanted to stream it, anyway. It's also not super long. Daisy. Oh, the pause is so weird on this. It does, like, you pause and it does that, and then you pa pause again. Oh, no. You have to wait for it to brighten up before you can unpause it. Yeah. Denzel's door key, Denzel's elevator. All these little fruits, in case you're wondering, but just my thought process and how I've always approached Dizzy. All these little fruits and stuff, I'm deliberately ignoring them because that's how you get health back and they don't, they don't come back. So once you've used them, you've used them and sometimes in an emergency you might need them. Because those two little lives in the bottom right hand corner, once they're gone, it's just game over. And you have to start the whole game again. And the game can take about two to three hours. So, what was the game again? It's called, um, let me get the full title. Because it's confusing. It's just called Holy Umbrella. But it's on the SNES. It is called Holy Umbrella Dondera Number Ball. Which is like Dondera's like, ambition, I think. Is that like what he wants to do? But it, it used to be. It used to be. You saw me play some of it, didn't you, on Legion? I think. I was playing it on this one time, really late at night. I didn't get very far, though. I have played it to the end myself, though, off camera. It's a nice little, like, it's one of those, like, hidden gem types, but it's started to get more coverage lately, and obviously it now has a fan translation. That's what the rope's for. <coughs> oh, shit! Oh, God, I was reading chat. <laughs> you flattened him. Oh, we'll get that strawberry. What is this? Rude. Grand Dizzy's door key. That I did. Oh, belt. This game is it's a great game I really like this game there's just there's just one huge flaw with this game I think which is a hard it's it's hard to overlook but I just think that it's it's very punishing for, for the length of the game they needed to have a different sort of checkpoint system because you have to play very cautiously I mean let me just save state for a second but because I'm gonna reload it but let me go back down, actually. But I'll just show you how easy it is to die if you're being careless. So let's just save there, but like really easy. Like, say you're just like messing around or something, I don't know. 
rip your dad kind of thing. And two more times of that and it's back to the start of the game again. And it, it can be quite clunky to do. Because when you jump, sometimes if you jump from a great height, and this is often what's killed me when I was growing up, if you jump from a great height, you will end up like stunned on the floor. And a lot of the time you've like landed on top of a spider and you're stunned and the spider just kills you. And it's very, very, very upsetting. <laughs> It's cruel on original hardware, yeah. It's cruel the way that I'm playing it. But if you were cautiously playing this, I don't know why I keep pausing the game to speak. If you were cautiously playing this yourself, I would recommend just make checkpoints once you've done a bit and you know that you've done well. Because if you just play it as a casual point and click game with no sense of danger, it's a really good time. Denzel's door key, there we go. Let's go in and see Denzel. So there's Denzel. But you have to get all of these stars to finish the game. And you have to find them everywhere. That's the main point. But his jump can be a little bit little bit wobbly. So Denzel wanted to be cool, so Zax granted his wish and froze him in ice while he swam. Now he needs your help. Wasn't a good time as a kid, even though I think it's actually a good game. I mean, I kept playing it, you know. It did keep me coming back. But there, there, there is one bit that Barley was mentioning earlier, which is like the the Minecraft thing. The mine, not Minecraft, minecart. There's a minecart in the game, and it comes up about halfway through. And what's really kind of crap about the minecart is it kind of requires you to memorize it because it has a lots of dead ends that instant kill you and you don't know that they're there. It's probably where I'm going to die tonight, but <laughs> if I get that far. And because it's quite far in, it was kind of ridiculous that it would just rip you and give you a game over. I particularly remember being a kid and that bit really upsetting me. And then the final area, like, has some really horrible platforming, if I remember. Can I even make this jump? Ooh. I like the cute look at the animations though look he's sad because it's raining oh shit can't see because of the fence but he's got a little sad face because it's raining he's also sad because his girlfriend's been kidnapped but particularly because it's raining Looking at playthroughs of this, I actually got a lot closer to clearing it than I thought. Oh yeah, there's not that it's not that long really. How far did you get? The bits that would kill me was always like the minecart and the the bit where you have to shoot the castle, the guards in the castle, that bit was annoying. If I remember. What? I don't have that key, do I? I don't remember whose house that is. I think I got to the castle but was missing the right items. Must be tough keeping track of all the keys. Well, once you've used them once, that's it. Dora, Daisy and Grand Dizzy. Grand Dizzy is the top one, I think, if I remember. Because you could just leave it here if you can remember which one and come back later. But Oh, I need that, but not, f not for a while. I can't even remember what, what that's for. I think I need it. When you know what you're doing though, like you know the best way to go around and what items you need and where and whatever. And this is only a, a tiny bit of the game itself. Whose key is that then? I'll look on the way back I think. Have we got Dylan's key? Basically, every scene I see in the playroom is probably saw most of them. Oh, I haven't got anything for there either. I might leave some of these keys. Oops. It's a shame they didn't make other Dizzy games for the Mega Drive like this. They did try to bring him back. They did a Kickstarter campaign to kind of. They did a mobile phone game first, which was like okay. It was like a just cheap, really, but it was all right. And then they did a Kickstarter and it didn't get funded. It was so sad. Oh! Isaka with the raid! 
thank you. How are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Just away, Kitty. Hello. How are you doing? Happy New Year as well. You love that movie. <laughs> oh, Treat Beverly Hills. It gives you big energy. What were you playing? I did. I know that you were playing Golden Sun though, because I did actually look very briefly. I saw your. I saw your thing on your screen. I didn't say anything because you were like very much in talking in German at that point in time and I didn't want to like interrupt the flow but I saw your was it your streamer Senshi's I saw all of you you Sailor Moon <laughs> with your face on it and was just a way kitty on there as well you finished Golden Sun finally how long have you been playing <laughs> how long have you been playing Golden Sun <laughs> you were Mars best one that's my favourite. I played Sailor Moon two days ago on the Mega Drive. I just played Sailor Moon and I chose Mars. But if anybody likes points and clicks and retro games, do check out Isaku. Oh, I keep pressing start not to open the bloody menu. Best girl, Dora. It was only the original ones because it was based on the first series, so it was like trying to choose who to use. But we decided to use Sailor Mars. I wonder what this frog's for. Oh no! Dora's been turned into a green frog by the evil wizard Zax. Can you help break his evil magic? So, are you going to play the next Golden Sun now, Isako? Or are you golden sunned out for a while? <laughs> I feel like you've been playing that game for about three or four months now. Sailor Mars was my alter ego as a teen. I made the Sailor Moon background today while lurking at Cobra. Oh, you were in Cobra's stream too? Skies of Arcadia. I'm so jealous that you've managed to get your Dreamcast working, Cobra, because I really want to play my Dreamcast too. How the hell do I get that key? I don't even remember. I really don't remember how you get that. I'll make a short break, short other game, and then the second one. Have you already got an idea of which one? I bought that Mobius game, by the way. I'm really worried about dying here. I don't remember this part of the game. Oh, that snail's coming back. Move. Let's go. Shit. See, that's that crap I'm talking about. Didn't get it working. Neon did, but I appreciate it. See, I have a Dreamcast. I bought one. When I had a little bit of money left over. I bought one. About a year ago now. And I bought a, quite a few games for it, including Skies of Arcadia. But, uh... I thought it would be really simple to just plug in and do the capture thing, but it didn't didn't work. Oh wait, what? We can go down here. But yeah, it needs some sort of external thing. I should just talk to Neon to be honest. Sometimes sit down, and have a chat, and maybe he can help me out. I was going to actually ask, message him to ask about getting the eleventh, the eleventh hour running, because you might notice we have a redeem on the channel at the moment for the. Oh, piss off. For the eleventh hour because I still haven't played it. <laughs> and it's been a month. Okay, we need the rope for that key. Who have I got? Daisy Grand Dizzy. You also on the game, but never finished it. What Mobius? You didn't finish Mobius? I thought you said it was like brilliant, mind you. I say that about a lot of games. That I don't finish. Contributed to the redeem. <laughs> There's no refunds. <laughs> I have the game. It's ready to go, but like OBS won't capture it because it's stupid PC game on Steam and they never work. Mobius is awesome. You finished it fast. Which one didn't you finish? Oh, Skies of Arcadia. Ooh. 
I've been playing just Mega Drive games all the time lately, but I do need to finish. Thank you for the moan on Legion. I do need to finish uh, Primal sometime. That sweet, sweet 11th hour. I actually got another copy of it today, you know, a special copy of it. And I'm going to just see if that will run. I didn't have time to try it before I went live. I'm going to just see if that will run in ScumVM and maybe that will be the solution that I need. Because, you know, the legit copy that I bought on Steam won't work. So, whatever. I've bought the game. I, that same thing with the 7th Guest. I bought the 7th Guest and I didn't end up playing the version that was... Well, I didn't buy it, actually. Van Terris gifted it me. But we never used it. It loves Skies of Arcade so far. It's a great game. It's it's so I don't know, it has such a strong fan base, but it's so kind of ignored. And it feels like everybody's been desperate isn't that Dora's house? Oh, I remember what to do with Dora. I remember we have to take her to the prince. Because she's a frog. And we have to give it to the prince, and he kisses her. They live happily ever after. There's that rope. I need that rope. Strange, because I have the 11th guest on Steam and it worked for you. Did it? See, how are you doing it, though? Because I do it with the second monitor, because I only have one little laptop. And I was... Oh, the 13th doll. See, well, I was trying to do it on my TV as a second screen, and then trying to capture it, but it was not picking up anything. The seventh guest worked, but the seventh guest crashed all the time was the problem with it on Steam for me, so I gave up with it. Let's give him the frog. Yay! The prince kisses the frog and instantly Dora returns. He is so pleased he gives you his crossbow. But I'm pretty sure that we don't need that crossbow for like 80% of the entire game. I want Moon to play the 13th doll at some point too. I watched part of Paul Dugan's play on YouTube. That prince is terrifying. He's happy though. He's with Dora. Nice hair she has. You know, I'm kind of just getting a bit salty though with all the PC sort of games though. Because it's like, I don't want to buy the 13th doll and then it doesn't work. Let's just leave these keys here for a minute go exploring. We don't need to go that way yet. But I've been so careful because if I run out of lives, it's, you know, everything that we've done so far, if we get game over, it's just like, see ya, start again. This music is a freaking bop though. Oh my god, that fucking pig. How do I use this item? I remember the solution. Where is it? Come on. There we go. If the game doesn't work on Steam... It's not just so much that it doesn't work, but it's like it works, but I can't capture it. You know what I mean? And I think Steam ain't going to care about that, are they? They're going to be like, well, the game works, though. That's not our problem. Because the 11th hour works on my laptop. I just can't stream it. I mean, I don't know, though. Is that a thing? Can you do that? I don't remember what this money's for. A heavy bag of gold coins. Oh, this is a bit where you got to be careful. Whoop! Whoop! If you fall down there, that's a life gone. That yogi is terrifying. That Yogi is a mixture of Roar of the Beast and Yogi Bear on the Mega Drive. Now I just need to do this really fast to get an extra life. Oh, how do we do this? I like the music for this though. This bonus level. I always liked this music when I was a kid. Even though it's not that special. It was just moody. Boom. You're going to have nightmares. You're welcome. You made me play Era the Acrobat. I'm having nightmares. No, it honestly, I'm, you know, I'm just joking. It really wasn't that bad. I was just being really shit at it today. I just need to practice a little bit. I'll get there in the end. So 
so bad at these such this one's actually pretty easy because you can just you just move it do you know what i mean like you just move it from left to right all you've got to do is make a picture but the other ones you know you have to move them in where the free space is they are a bit trickier Once you get used to the controls, it will get better. I think so too. It's just that the attack thing is very fiddly and specific. Dun, dun, dun. I love this music. Have you ever played this one, Isaku? You probably like, kind of like it too, because it does have that sort of puzzly thing. Point and click, but no, po no clicking. I don't think I need to go this way. These were very popular UK games. Oh, he's sad. Basically a point and click with platforming, yeah. It's the same sort of mentality, like finding the items and where do you have to use them, that sort of thing. Except you can die and then you have to start all over again, which is quite annoying. It's also got no dialogue. This, the, oh, these are the bits that bloody kill me all the time. I'm not even sure I need to be here yet, to be honest. Where are we going? Where's the map? This is to the pirate ship? Oh, I don't even want to go on the pirate ship yet. No, I'm not going there. I just want to get rid of this bag of coins, I think, and that'll do. I don't remember what the umbrella's for. So, this troll won't move. I think we have to give him the money. There we go. Now he's gone. I have to wait for him to move, though, because if you touch him, he'll kill you. I will grab something to eat. Didn't pass. Streaming seven hours. Just thought I will make two. My dears, have fun. I will go to Lemon. Thank you again for the raid, though. I appreciate it a lot, Isaku. Thank you so much. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful new year as well. I'll drop by next time I can. I don't remember what this... Ooh! I don't remember what this barrel's for, either. There's a lot of this game that I can't remember. A barrel of pirates from... I guess it's for a pirate then. Probably for the pirate ship, so I might just go dump it in front of the pirate ship. And a crowbar. Something else that I don't remember what it's for. It's for breaking... I think it's for breaking some sort of, like, bottom ledge. Like a trapdoor thing. <coughs> but I don't remember where it is. I can kind of visualise it. Oh, this one always kind of... These kill you. Oh. They can be really janky. Guillotine is ominous. Those rats are ominous. One hundred and ninety-five. Because the other thing too is you can kind of tell how much progress we are into the game by how many stars are left. It starts with two hundred and fifty. I've got one hundred and ninety-five left, so that's how much of the game I've done roughly. What's this one? Uh, I'm half tempted to leave some of this stuff here in case there's items. I think I will. I'm gonna leave the barrel and the crossbow there. But there's loads of Dizzy games. I really kind of should play more of them. It's some of the older ones, but they always just looked a little bit too old to me. Like the old Spectrum. Ah! Atari Amiga ones, I think. But I always like the, the sort of gameplay idea behind them. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the very end. Yeah, this is quite near the end. We need something to get in there. We don't need to go there for a while, then. So that was kind of a, a bit of a wasted trip. These flipping rats. Oh! Oh, you fucker! No! Oh, no. 
Getting close to losing a life. I've only got three. <laughs> need some food. Oh, there's another life. But you don't get many lives in the game. I might check some of the other ones out that are on Ant Street. Ant, Ant, what is it? Ant Stream? Ant Stream? No. And whatever that thing is, that free thing. With all the arcade stuff. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Because I think they've got most of the Dizzy games all in one place. Lots of dizzies. Dun, 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 dun. It's Ant Stream, neat service. Yeah, that one that you use for Monkey Island. If you like the dizzy ones, there's, there's, they've got most of the old ones on there to play. I think you can save on that as well, so that would probably make them a little bit more doable. Because the old ones, they're pretty... Pretty rough going, if I recall what I played. I could, I tried to play one or two of them because my brother really liked them, and he showed me a few. Is there anything at the end of there? I don't even remember. Just a trashy fish. Okay. Where's this one going to? Did I miss anything that way though? I feel like I just walked past something. I walked past some food. No. I'd really like some health back. How much have I even got left? This one might kill me. Uh, it's even... Shit! Oh, I think we're dead. Oh no! I always panic and press pause as well. Ah! Oh no, first life is gone. Uh oh. There's gonna be health here now. Oh, no, fuck you. Oh my God. Those damn butterflies. Oh, who's he? He's a shopkeeper, I think. We have to give him something. Money or a cow. Is it a cow? Where does this go? I think they both go to the same place, so let's see which one's easier. What a disaster, though. Oh, I don't know which one was easier. This one? The other one? Fucking mice. I don't want to go that way yet. Some more money. I don't remember what to do with the money. That sound effect with picking up the moon there just reminded me of the menu music on Parasite Eve. Not music, the sound effects. I think it's Parasite Eve. I don't know how to go down there. Oh 
go away. I didn't like this music when I was a kid. Spooky. Oh, this is where you use a shovel. Ooh. The minecart somewhere here as well. The art in this is so nice. Feels colourful for Michael Jogging too, especially a West one. Yeah, I think this is they were really good at what they did, Codemasters. You know, joke about Western development, but Codemasters knew how to make like a polished looking sort of game with the art and music and stuff. The music in general is very good, I think, on this. Like this, this track is so like happy and bouncy. Doesn't sound like most Western Mega Drive music. Parts that reminds me a bit of Monster World games. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to playing some of those as well. That snail's gonna fuck me up. This is a real tree. Would you play this one then? Oh, we need to give him the magic beans. Which I don't have. Oh shit, we can't go past them then. Okay, right, we're dead end. Oh, we gotta go all the way back now. I don't think I should have come to this town quite so early. I wasted that life as well. Dun, dun, dun. I'm almost tempted, I'm kind of half tempted to start again. I don't feel like I needed to be over here. I've not really got anything useful yet. I think Codemasters had their own in-house sound driver. Sounds a lot better than most Western Mega Drive games. Yeah, they did a lot of their own stuff really in general, didn't they? Let's see. Do you think I should just start this again? You know, and not waste it because I don't need to be here and I don't think I picked anything up now you know what to do with Dizzy or give it a crack I mean they reverse engineered the cartridges they did they used to put the little controller extra controller ports on they were like little rebels decisions I don't know if I really need to be here yet I'd like to check out maybe the pirate ship before I go though. What else is over there? Hmm. No, I think I'm going to be annoying. I'm just going to restart it. I'm going to restart. Because <clears throat> we've kind of just gone all the way into the town and there's no, there's no key items there that I need yet. I think I need to get the other key items somewhere else first. So I'd rather have not wasted that life. This is just what the game is all about. Restarting Disney midway through if you hit a wall is usually a good idea, yeah. It's just, it's gonna... And I'm not expecting to finish it tonight, but it's kind of like, in the long term, even tonight, it's gonna waste time if I don't restart now because I've lost a life already not gonna get s as far right, I'm just trying to remember which ones I need what's that for? Denzel's elevator don't need that yet although I could probably get Dora would be good and give it to the thing I need to get a cage for Pogi 
going to leave that key there. We'll go to the right instead as well. Go to a different place. Dun, dun, dun. I'll take that. Whoop. I'm also just going to throw that ham and get rid of that pig. So that it's just done. There we go. I'm also I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Because I think later on what I do when I go into town I might want all three of my inventory slots. We could also check out the check out the pirate ship quickly. It's not that huge of a game, like the locations and stuff. There isn't actually that many places. I don't remember where to use that umbrella. I don't remember what the umbrella's for. In fact, I'm just going to leave this here for a moment. another crowbar? Or is that the one that I did before? Two crowbars? Where does this go? I was worried about that mouse. That's Dock Street. Oh, this is not the pirate ship. I'm going the wrong way. I don't think I need this crowbar though. Or do I? Barrel for the pile, I'll take that. I should have perhaps left these where I was. That's a bit, a bit silly. Um, oops. Oh, that's to get past him. <laughs> but I'm not going on the pirate ship yet. The pirate ship's quite rough, if I recall. Okay, Moon, I'm going to take that nap now, but thanks for attempting Arrow, and Grant is still watching in the living TV. <laughs> Hello, Leon, how you doing? Have a lovely sleep. Oh, fudge. I'm gonna take that. And I'll give Arrow another crack another time. Maybe even tomorrow. Just needed to break the ice with it. That was a little bit late. I don't think he has anything else to chat with now. He's probably not logged in. <laughs> Wait, what key is this? Is this the ground elevator? Why didn't I use this? That's so stupid. Maybe snooze him. Oh shit, that was a stupid jump. I nearly fell in there. I'll need, I'll need that, but I'll get it on the way back. Two, two, two. Just a bit slow snails. Now 
let's see what's down here. I'm sure that the crowbar is for something over here. I feel like it is. I'm just going to leave it here. I just have to come back and get it later if I need it, I guess. Need a key for that. That. Oh, that was health. Oh well. Never mind. I don't know where the key for that lift is, though. And that's something I do need. I don't remember what that is. What key is that? The key for Grand Dizzy's elevator. There we go. But the game does give you a lot of health pickups. It's just a little bit... Ooh. Unfortunate. I think we want that mushroom. If you don't, that's what the crowbar's for. But I don't think I want to do that yet because I think I've got no. I need to be able to swim. Spanner. But well, that's. I don't remember what any of this is for. Let's have a look down on the beach. Pickaxe. That's the end of that. Really is lovely, lovely pixel art though. Oh, it's raining, he's so sad. Kinda want that spanner too. I don't want that strawberry. I wish I could remember what the, the, the wrench spanner thing was for. Maybe it's for the machine. I'm not sure that I, I'm going to leave this pickaxe here. Take this pesticide with me. Oop. Oh shit. Oh, there's too many items. What to do with them all? In fact, I don't need I don't think I need this mushroom for a while. I don't remember what I'm doing with it. I'm sure that we throw it, throw it in a pot or something. Somewhere. Daisy. Daisy. I don't remember what Daisy's business is. Maybe she needs it. I might just... I'm just going to dump a few of these... A few of these bits... Here. What's in this? Keys that Grandpa Dizzy's. Well, we need those. I don't remember what Grandpa Dizzy's problem is. Because each of the characters, they've all got some sort of like spell put on them by the evil wizard Zax. That's where I need the rope. <coughs> Ooh. 
And there it is. I'm gonna wait though. I wanna get rid of these keys. that one. key somewhere and I don't remember where it is. Whose house is this? Denzel. Daisy though, isn't it? Daisy. The music in this is perfect. It's really nice. I like the theme tune as well on the main menu. I can't, like, I've literally just done this and that, why have I forgotten? <laughs> I'm just gonna take this rope. Not a loop of torture, like, no, it's pretty long. It's probably, you know, good, what, good two minutes or something before it loops over. missed one elevator key somewhere. Whoop. Oh. Well, there's Denzel's house. Denzel is frozen. He needs this hay. And there's the key. Denzel's elevator. Where was Denzel's elevator? Hmm. I might just take this down. Grandpa Dizzy, Denzel's key. Must have been somewhere near because I just did it on the, the last time I played, right? Didn't I? Is it up over here? No. When I first started the game, didn't we get Denzel's key? Not Denzel's. No, Denzel's elevator key. What have I done with that? How about I like, picked it up and put it down somewhere silly? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I, I did. It's right there, isn't it? I, what, I thought about that when I put it there as well. I thought, I wonder if I'll forget because I can't see because of the fence. <coughs> but then I thought, no, I'll remember in a second. Idiot. <laughs> I'm glad I saw that. I'd have been running around for ages looking for that. Right. I don't know what I'm doing with this mushroom. I'm just going to leave it here. Where I can see it. I'll take some of these keys. Who's that? Is that Denzel? Denzel's door key. I want Grandpa Dizzy's stuff as well. 
grand, Dizzy's elevator grand, Dizzy. That's, I can't even remember who that is. I don't care at this point. Let's just unlock Denzel's house. There we go. We'll take that in. And poor old Denzel is frozen in ice. need to get, I think, matches and burn it to melt him. I have no idea where these matches are, though. <clears throat> we can get this door key. Take it out. That match, that flower, I'm pretty sure, is connected to the mushroom. But I feel like some of my memories with this game are actually working against me, and I think I'm remembering things wrong. I need that key, but I don't know what it's for. I'm trying to think when the last time I even played this was. It's probably about ten years ago. I have kept like kind of up to date with this game because it's it's a it's an old favourite, so I've revisited it. G Diz, what's G Diz's beef? Oh, oh, he's asleep. No, he's not. Poor old Grand Dizzy. He's very ill and has run out of medicine. He asks you to make him some more. Okay. How do we make it? Oh, is it with this? I don't think we... This is an item. I think we just read it. Potion. An old medicine recipe. I mean, what is that? I think it's a flower, a mushroom, and something else. We don't need to carry that with us though. But we can go get the mushroom, get that star flower, and maybe just dump these in the pot right now. Oh, maybe that. There we go, there's one. Kind of curious, at the risk of dying, I kind of want to bounce off here. Ooh. Okay. Because sometimes there's a, there's a couple of sneaky platforms. Whose key is this? Daisy's. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Daisy was at the start, we don't need her key. Get that mushroom. And grab Daisy on the way back. Wherever I left the mushroom, down here, wasn't it? I'm going to do Dora first. I'm going to sort Dora out so that it's done and I don't forget. So it's not very difficult to do. Give it to the prince. Whoops. I don't think there's anything else to do in Dora's house. I can't even think how many games there are. On this front, there's, there's so many Dizzy games. <coughs> it's kind of, I think, for British people anyway. If you talk about the spectrum, everybody just thinks, "Oh, I hadn't been in here before." Everybody just thinks about Dizzy. And 
Maniac Miner. Jet Set Willy. Whose key is this one? Dozy's door key. I always used to think, when I was a kid, I used to think this was a Game Boy. I think until I realised what it was. I didn't read the item descriptions very well. A small animal cage. Not a Game Boy. I remember buying this game as a kid. I remember going into this shop in my city that was called... Um, as an American, I associate Dizzy with the Specky as well. Did you, like, hear about it then, back in the day? Did you hear about Dizzy? Because I feel like he never really kind of hit it off in America. Uh, what are we doing? Don't see. Oh, we need Pogi for this. This is how you catch Pogi or whatever his name is. This little cretin thing walking around. Come here. Bam, got him. A page, a cage containing Pogi the Fluffle. I don't know who wants Pogi though. I'm gonna leave Pogi there, and I'm gonna go take this to Grandpa Dizzy. Yes, if you read old computer mags, they have plenty of articles on the Euro Microcomputer. I mean, Dizzy was also on the NES, I think, as well. He was on quite a few things. He was on. I'm not sure if there's a ma I think there's a Master System version of this game. The same one, Fantastic Dizzy, I think, on the Master System. And there's an NES Dizzy of some sort. But there was only two of them. One of them was not the normal gameplay. It was like Avalanche Dizzy or something? I don't know. Oh, too many keys! Oh, that spider. really need more than three slots. There's definitely, you know, if you've played this tons and you can remember everything, there's definitely optimal ways to go around doing this, but I'm doing it the painful way. It makes the game longer when you can't remember what you're doing. But I guess once I've practiced it, you know. Alright, that's that. Ta-da! Oops. Yeah, Dizzy and Codemasters had a rough time in the States. I mean, the old Dizzy games, I think, were just, there were just two people that made them. It was the brothers, wasn't it? Grand Dizzy's eyes light up as he drinks the medicine. He offers you the treasured golden egg he found at the diamond mine. I'm pretty sure that we don't use this egg for a hot minute. I'm going to just get this watermelon. I'm probably never going to come back to see Grandpa Dizzy, so I'm just going to eat his food. licensing ish Oh, really? I don't know. I didn't know about that. There was a really good video on YouTube I saw once. I think it's Slope's Game Room. He did uh, a little bit of a, a series rundown of History of Dizzy, I believe, which I quite enjoyed. Because Slope's Game Room is a YouTuber who's British, so he does a, you know, quite a bit about British based stuff. It's quite nostalgic. Dun, 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 dun. This music is just so chill. I don't need this dragon's egg. It needs to just like go somewhere where I'm not gonna need it and think about it and forget about it and whatever. Why can't I just chuck it? I don't want it. Uh, leave it down there, maybe. <laughs> 
Love Slopes, Kim Justice and La Larry Bundy. Yeah, I watched Larry Bundy. Oh, I didn't know you watched those. Larry Bundy's good fun. Although YouTube, I keep forgetting to watch Larry Bundy because YouTube doesn't like send me the video in the feed. Hello, you. Whose key is this one? Dora. That's the one that's been turned into the frog. But I'm pretty sure Slopes covered this series. Oh, I don't need to go that way now, do I? But I remember buying this. I bought it from a shop in my city called Another World, I think, and I bought it second hand for, a th I believe, £16 at the time. And I bought, I bought two games. My brother recommended I get this one. And it was cheap, because I, I think it was with the Christmas money that I got, and I went into the, t into the city to do a bit of shopping, and my brother said, oh, Fantastic Dizzy, you might like that one. And I bought it with, um, I think I bought it with Super Mario World 2 on the, on the Super Nintendo, which was a bit more expensive. I think it was about 20 to 30 pounds, and this one was 60, and I had a bit of money left over, and my brother said, oh, why don't you get Dizzy? It's only 16 pounds, it's very good. They all appeal to an academic interest in worthy gaming history. Look at that rope now. I have to say that Super Mario World 2 did end up being, and it still is, one of my. It is my favourite platformer, 2D platformer ever. I love Super Mario World 2. Such a perfect game. That's Dora. Where to go from this one? Oh no, Dora's been turned into a green frog. Can you help break his evil magic? I'll try. Just gonna eat these now. Because I can't remember if you get a certain amount of points, I can't remember if you get an extra life or not. It would be nice if I did. I feel like a dome. Shit. Ah, what do I need? I can't get up there. I need something for that. It's a bad mistake. You can watch those videos with my guys and they'll learn a thing or two best of. I always watch all those videos in the bath. I love it. Dylan? Is it Dylan that wants Pogi? I don't have his key yet. Oh, what's that there? How do I get up there? I don't remember how to do Dizzy. But it is fantastic. Oop! I'm gonna... Let's just try and go down here. Yeep! Oh, there we go. Sneaky. Ah, finally, a pretty game. Hey, Blazing Fire, how's it going? Yeah, this one is certainly more colourful. That little weight is just what I needed. I think it's for this. Oops. There we go. That snail needs to get lost, though. What a joker. Why is it there just to like be an ass? The timing of it is very annoying. Dozy? Oh shit, did I leave Dozy's key somewhere? Oh. It's a pain in the ass at times. I need that. 
I don't remember where Dozy's key is. Can we go this way? Am I gonna die? Ah! Oh, at least we didn't land on the snail. That would have been bad. Oh, do you remember where we left Dozy's key? <laughs> where the hell is Dozy? I've seen it. Or was it Dozy's elevator? Or maybe it was Dozy's elevator. I need to get this key as well, but I don't know how. Can we like wobble over here, maybe? Whoops. Yep. Have I got the rope? Yeah, there we go. Boing. Whose key is this? Dylan. Oh, for God's sake. Dylan's over there, though, isn't he? I'll go in a minute, though. Grandpa, but dizzy. Am I missing anything here? Ooh. I feel like you have to jump off this at some point. Somewhere. I'm very worried to do so, though. Risk it or not. I'm sure that you have to jump off one of these somewhere and land on a platform. It's just kind of trash. But jumping off the wrong one, I think, gets you killed. Oh, should we just do it? Oh, I'm going to make a, a cheeky save. Ah! <laughs> I'd be really sad if I... I think I needed to jump, though, not walk. Oh, that worked out fine. Boy. That did not work out fine. Oh well. Maybe we don't need to jump off one of them. Oh, but Dora though, we can get rid of her. Right, piss off. She lived happily ever after. It's fantastic hair, isn't it? Why is she wearing boxing gloves though? It's everybody. Oh, we all are. We don't need that. Let's go see Dozy. Da -da -da. Um. It's kind of got instrumentation that reminds me of Toe Jam and Earl, actually. Kind of drums <laughs> in the background. It's just something we'll have to play later. Did I already do that? Really, just getting all of this treehouse area memorised. Where to go first? Oh, I've gone the wrong bloody way. Where to go first and which keys to take where? You know, could probably save about an hour. I love how the, the weather and the lights change too, though. Dylan. Have we got Dylan? Dylan. Sort it out. Since Daisy's disappearance, Dylan wants to look after Pogi, but he's unable to catch him. Perhaps you can help. <coughs> Perhaps I already have. I don't know what you mean. Moon only plays pretty games here. Chuck on, never heard of it. <laughs> Atomic, Atomic Runner was stunning. I 
I like you and Cassius because in between the shenanigans there's a lot of informed history shared. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I try my best to know a little bit about what I'm doing. This one I know a bit more because uh, obviously I've got a connection. Dylan thinks you're very clever using the cage to catch Pogi. He gives you a small cow to take to the market. Thanks, Dylan. Here's a small cow. I'm glad you introduced Cassius. He's been a really good person to chat to. He's got some good taste in games. He's a good guy. I was watching someone actually. Ooh. Let me just check who it was. They had to spell the name properly. Du -du -du. Uh... Oh, there we go. Mystical. Mystical machine gun. I've been watching when he's done a few streams. Just kind of st still like finding his feet on Twitch. Mystical machine gun. There we go. Playing retro. So he was actually playing uh, the old Metal Gear Solid game. The first one on the NES. It's got a really chilled atmosphere, nice vibes. It's nice to just hang and listen to it. Very passionate about what he plays as well, I think. He's also playing Fantasy Star, the remake. I was watching a little bit earlier today. If you want somewhere else to have a look at Retro, I kind of thought it might, might be your sort of a vibe. I've only been myself twice though, but he seemed like a nice guy. Australian, so a bit more on my time zone and your your late night time zone. This machine was super nice, yeah. I watched a bit of a stream again today. Dozy. Is this finally dozy? We're finally doing it. Right, there we go. Got my little cow, let's go. I don't know what Dozy's problem is though. Oh, he's asleep. Dozy can't talk to you right now. He is in a very deep sleep. Maybe you should try to wake him up. I'd love to. With a big cow, maybe? Moo. I don't remember how to wake him up. But I try to, know, I don't know, I try to know a bit about what I'm doing, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's not like I've done a degree or anything, I just read a lot of Wikipedia, read, watch a lot of YouTube, I'm interested in it, you know? So it kind of, I just retain the knowledge. I think we're done here, I don't think there's anything else to do. Shit! Not get killed by a spider would be a really terrific start, though. Let's go that way. Oops. Yeah, I'm not going to jump off there. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I still feel like I've not quite done enough in this area. What do I miss? I want to get that dragon egg back as well on the way out. Oh, I keep getting lost. Oh, there's the other rope. Oh, I don't think I needed it. I'm not just going to fall down the gap of the elevator. I mean, if anybody know, you know, anybody knows, this is a uh, back seating's quite welcome <laughs> on these older games. I'm not too arsed. I can't remember all of it. A little bit. If I've missed something crucial up here. Oh, 
I mean, backseating is a bit excessive. I don't, I don't like actually backseating, but a little bit of a tip, a friend, you know, a pro tip or a bit of a hint or a bit of help, I don't mind. But, you know, it gets a bit excessive, like, go there, do this. No, not that way. Denzel. No, we can't do anything with Denzel yet. I think we can leave. I think I've got everything that we need for the moment. Let's just get out of this horrible treehouse of horrors. Who's that? That's my house. That's most of the puzzles solved here though, I think. The cow is for that guy in the city, but I don't remember. We can leave the cow here. Oops. I don't think we need the rope any more in the game I believe. I think it was only for the tree house. I could be totally wrong. We might need it later. I'm just going to leave it there. The egg needs to go to the dragon if I remember. So we'll go leave it somewhere over there. In the mines. I think we could just plonk it here, probably. And now I'm going to check. I'm going to check this crossbow. In fact, maybe I should just put the dragon egg over here. I might just leave it in the mine. I'll just leave it there, ready to go. Because I'm pretty sure it's, it needs to go back in the diamond mine. I can't remember what the crowbar is for. That snail's in the bloody way. Something breaks this, and I don't remember what it is, but I don't think I want to do it yet. I want to get that first. A machine wrench. Is that for the mine? Oh, get lost. I would like to not fall in the mine. Oh no, I remember this. Good afternoon. Hi, is it you know this one? How you doing? You surprised me. Maybe... Oh, no. Maybe it's the pickaxe that breaks that then. Did you play this one then? I played this one too when I was, when I was younger. So it's very nostalgic for me. Let's try the pickaxe. I left the pickaxe over here, didn't I? I think I still have this somewhere. I have it at my mum's with the curvy, the curved top cartridge. Whoop. Probably buried in a box of my mum's stuff. You should find all your old Mega Drive stuff. Seems we've been talking about them so much lately. Sitting on some gems. What is this exactly? A heavy duty rust proof pickaxe. Is that what breaks the bridge? Ooh. I don't remember how to use that we have to break this. Probably shouldn't know. I shouldn't do it until I can even swim anyway. Because you'll drown if I fall in there. What oh, that's for? I've never played it, but when I was taking part in a computer course when I was a teenager, other children used to play it and I watched them play. Oh, that's so cute. Which one did you... Was it this one that you saw? Or do you think there's lots of dizzy games? The air characters are so lovely. They're very cute. Oh. Oh, maybe that makes the... Maybe that makes the lift work. This whole game is super cute. It is cute until you die. Then it's not cute. Oh, it works. 
I don't even know if we should be here yet. Does this do something? No. I mean, maybe we could go down. Spooky times. Do -do 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 What's down here? Death. I think we had one of the older ones on a school computer as well. I guess they thought they were vaguely educational, encouraging public development and stuff. I mean, back in those, that you know, that with games back then, like some of them, they did, didn't they? It was just like it's it's another way to get you to do something. Fuck! It's time, Barley Bump. <laughs> it's the minecart. No. I should have gone here right from the beginning. I didn't realize you could do it so early on. The minecart's gonna kill me, and I'm gonna lose my shit. Excuse my mouth, in the middle of a raid as well. Slowly barred fast with the raid, thank you very much. Let me just give you a little shout out, although I know what you're playing. I'll just put the link there. Playing that old game Earthbound in that category, retro. How was it? How far have you got now? Just be slightly careful of spoilers, because Barley Bap in chat is also playing Earthbound. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, get your crayon. Happy New Year to you. Oh yes, Happy New Year everybody. I haven't seen you beforehand. I don't know what to do about this minecart. I don't know where to go now. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Bali. What would Bali do? I'm getting pretty near the end now, I think. Oh, are you? Not a power-up spot. Last time, oh, you you hit it hard today though, didn't you? I think the last time I I dropped in, actually, you were ahead of Slardy Bar the last time I saw you play. So actually, it's the other way. Barley would die. I'm gonna die. This is jank. I'm gonna save because I don't give a shit. The minecart's bullshit. We're gonna die on this minecart. Oh shit! I, I'm gonna leave the dragon egg though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't think we need these. I'm just gonna go on the minecart. Yeah, minecart's gonna kill me though. Fact. I don't care to find out the hard way. Oh god, isn't it awful? Where am I going? This music. It's just stress. If you if you go the wrong way, you just die instantly. And I've only got three lives. Exit? No. Where am I going? Bum 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 bum. Oh. The thing is, as well, is once you've cocked it up and you've moved some of the stars, it becomes like almost impossible to do it because the stars give you a hint of where to go. But when the stars are gone, you're on your own. Is it nearly over? Dun, 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 dun. Where am I going? Where am I going? Ooh. Where am I going? Ah, I don't even know. Where the fuck am I going now? Where am I going? Left? <laughs> oh, no, I did it wrong. No. Oh. oh, my God. I actually pressed left, but it didn't go left. Thank God for that. What a load of bollocks this is. Oh, shit. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know. Left? Oh, shit. No, it's not left. Trash! No, I've missed a star! No! That means we have to do the minecart again. Oh, bullshit. Fuck that. No. No, we're not doing that again. Stress is real. The music is just trauma inducing. This is my nah moon. It's just jank because I'd have to do that entire minecart again, but with none of these stars. So I'd probably just die because she just. How are you supposed to know where to go? 
It's like you got four paths and like two of them are instant death. If you memorise it, you know, it's fine, but like, I don't like that sort of gameplay mentality where you need to, like, die and remember it first. It should give you enough time to figure it out, like, a little bit of a reaction, but it doesn't at the end. It's kind of just, you need to know. Already. Gonna make a cheeky save. I'm just I'm not in the mood for dizzy shit tonight. Whoops. Has that even worked? Oh, where's the thing? I do not remember the route. Which way was it? Keep going. It's not just time consuming. You, you, if you die, you just get game over. This is where the game ends for for me when I was a kid, many, many times. There we go. Now what? If you bump into those monsters, I think you die. If you bump into the buffers, you die. If you bump into a rock, you die. And I've only got three. Like, oh shit, it's getting faster. I don't even know. Is this a wise decision? Oh, we went the wrong way. Bullshit. Now we went the right way. Oops. That didn't work. <laughs> no! Oh, missed one. It is baloney, this is. It's the worst part of this game. It ruins the game for me. Don't know. Ooh. There we go, we made it all the way to the end of the shitty minecart. Minecart lives up to my memories. It's worse than my memory, actually. I was really hoping that we would get to that barley and be like, Hey, it wasn't that bad, actually. It was all in my head. No, it's bad, it's trash. There we go. I think it's done. I think we don't need to do the minecart ever again. And that's it. And what a sensible person would have done, which I am not, is uh, done that from the start of the game. Do you know what? I'm in the mood tonight. I want to finish Dizzy. I want to finish Dizzy. I'm just going to save because I can't be arsed with this game. I don't want to slam my face against it. <laughs> At least for now because it's fun and we're cosy and we're enjoying it. I think it's a story time game. Initially, I thought it was going to go that way. You started strong, but sure enough, this is bullshit. Yeah, I thought I was getting ready. And then once we got to that bit where obviously I did rebuy, it was like, oh no, it's just trash from here onwards. <sighs> been lurking and just logged in. This has been fun. <laughs> are you enjoying the bullshit, Neon? How are you doing? And Happy New Year. I don't think I've been in your, your stream since, other than obviously talking to you in Cobras, but I don't think I've been in to see you personally. I did lurk a bit when you did the SNES grab bag. I was in the middle of cooking, though. But anybody that isn't following Neon Arcade and likes retro stuff, do particularly schmops and things like that, check that out. Have you actually finished Dragoon, uh, not Dragoon, Racing Lagoon yet? Yeah. 
I can't watch it because I'm going to buy it. In fact, I'm, I meant to ask you about that, Barley Bob. Do you know the Racing Lagoon game that Square... Is it Square Soft? It's not. It's before Square Enix, isn't it? Square Soft made. Do you know it? Japan only one. Neon's been playing it. It looks actually quite good. I think I'm going to have to buy it. You know it, but you haven't played it. I might have to get a copy. Been meaning to for a while. It's got like that big kind of, you know, late 90s square energy with the fantastic, the, mu the music and stuff like Parasite Eve. Why have I got this dragon's egg? I thought I didn't take it with me. That's annoying. I'm going to have to carry it all the way back to the piggy mine now. What a nightmare. I also need the spade for something here. Movie night tonight. I think it... What day is it? Sunday? Yeah, it will be, won't it? Your movie night. That's another thing Neon does on Sundays. Watch janky movie. You would love it, Barley. It's a shame that it's bad time zone for you. Because Neon streams bad janky movies and everybody just watches. It's very mystery science theatre. I've watched a few. I'm, you, I've often been at work, though, because it's a Monday for me. But not at the moment. And also, whoops. Hey, Sadie, how you doing? Good morning. We could do the minecart again, you know? There is an extra life. I think the minecart brings you out here where there's an extra life. So I might go back to the minecart and do that. Yeah, you, you'll struggle to catch Neon Barley with your time zone, I think. Except when Neon's been staying up hella late. <laughs> or maybe when you've been staying up really late. Like last night, burning your midnight oil. Raiding Cobra Commander. I was very confused when I woke up this morning and I was in Cobra Stream and I could see Barley Baps raided. I was like, what? <laughs> 5.30 this morning. You're about... Who stays up at 5.30 playing games? Not me. It's 3am right now. I need to get the hell out of here. I'm going to drop a lurk, my dude. I need to make some lunch. Thank you for the lurk, Getty Crown. I appreciate it. I guess technically I wake up very early. Yeah, but I sympathise with that, that sentiment. Because, you know, there's, there's a certain barley bat that I wish I could watch, but I also like to sleep. It's very... It's tough choices. Although I did manage to hang out with you the other night. I mean, I'm getting to the point where I'm rolling into, like, going to bed at 8 in the morning. It's getting a bit silly. Don't we use this spade for something here? I don't remember. Is that an egg? It is an egg. It's a dragon's egg, I think. Uh, I'm really scared to dig. Oh, there we go. I don't know if we can get out is the problem. There's a bucket of water. This might kill me. Oh. I can't remember. Do we use the bucket here? An empty bucket. You're at the point where we're more or less living in the... I know! <laughs> but it's it's not fair. All the cool people, interesting people like now show up at like three in the morning. What the fuck is that? Oh, no! I need that trampoline as well. Don't fall off. I think it's a trampoline, isn't it? A gymnast's bouncy tramp... Trampet? What's a trampet? I mean, it must be a thing. Get way more raids of a step to me. <laughs> yes, that also is true for me. Although, I've had a few raids more on my time zone now. 
It's just trying to, you know, because I'm working, I don't actually meet people on my time zone because I'm working when they're streaming. And then when I'm, and then I'm streaming when they're streaming. I mean, I watch, I watch some of my friends, you know, I watch, I watch Dreamy if she's about late. I watch Mecha Lavos when I get home from work. Oof. The greatest egg in the history of video. Oh, you meant the character? I thought you meant the, <laughs> I thought, you... see, I'm so like used to Dizzy. I didn't even think about it. And you're like, is that an egg? I thought you meant the item, a warm golden dragon egg. No, Dizzy's not a dragon egg though. He's just an egg with legs and boxing gloves and a cracking smile. You know, your mum would like him. Ah. Oh, this is this is trash. This little bit. I remember we have to bounce. I can't do that. No, that didn't work. How do I get out of this? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get really grumpy about it. Uh, there we go. That's junk. He was in several well-regarded video games long, long ago. What a good fellow he was. Yeah, he's sort of a little mascot for the UK gaming, gaming on the spectrum. He's kind of like you know, you got Alex Kidd, you got Sonic, you got Mario, you got Dizzy. Trumpet line, <laughs> Sonic, Sonic. Oh, Runix. Hey, how you doing? You're here. Do you know this one? I'm not even sure where you're based, actually, if you don't mind me asking. Which part of the world are you in? I assume from when you show up. I guess you're in America side, Canada. I know that one, but I never played it. This is sort of like the last one, really, that they did for a long time. Let me just think what I need to take. I don't even know what this water's for. I need some health. Central. Really need some health. Really need some health. I don't need money. I need some health. Oh, thank God for that. I do need the money. How am I going to carry all this crap? I wish I didn't have this dragon egg. Where are we going? Mm, I could do with getting that money. This is annoying. I've got too many items. Just go, go, go. It was a childhood game for me as well. I'm surprised and overjoyed to see a millennial like Moon appreciating this game. Millennial? I'm barely a millennial. I don't, I don't really feel like a millennial. I think I technically am a millennial, but I'm like the front end of it. I wish I had that cow. Love eggs. Sounds cute. Dizzy the egg. This is yeah. This game is fantastic, Dizzy. Actually, Sadie, you know that um, arcade thing that the ant stream that I told you about, and then Retro said ant stream. Lots of these Dizzy games, the older ones, not the one I'm playing right now, but the older versions of Dizzy. They are they are a little bit rough around the edges though. They're on that. Da, da, da. Oh, I'd really like to get through this without dying. Thank you, please. I eat avocado toast and don't in a house, and I've been led to believe that makes me a millennial. Oh my god. <laughs> Just makes you very extra. Which way is this? Is this the way out? I just want to dump some of these items and go back. Where's that going? That's a dead end. We don't really need to go there yet. I'm not trying to get this star though. Oops. Ooh. 
all that damage. He's miserable, look at him. I'm gonna leave that egg there, it's just annoying me now. I just wanna get a little bit of health. Yeah, about the millennial thing though, for me, like, I feel a weird one, like, I grew up without technology, like the internet and such, and then, but then I grew up with it at the same time, so I feel like I kind of experienced both. Oh, I know what that money's for, no, maybe I don't. Let's get this. But yeah, up until like junior high school, I didn't really have the internet. Maybe high, yeah, junior high school, high school, I didn't have the internet. Or a mobile phone. But there is a certain, there is definitely a slight generational difference because, you know, of, of Dizzy is a prime example. Like my older brother played old school Dizzy this was my Dizzy. I guess it's like, you know, your Doctor Who, like, which Dizzy did you play? I played Fantastic Dizzy. Whereas my brother would have played, like, the old ones, like Prince of the Oak Folks. What, what were the other ones? Treasure Island Dizzy, whatever they were. There was loads of them. But I don't ever remember them. I don't think he played them in our house. I think he played them at his friend's house. And I was too young. Or maybe not even born, I'm not sure for some of them. I think I'm the kind of cusp of being a millennial. I'm the weird in between place. Yeah, me and you are the same generation, pretty much, I think, quite comfortably so. You know, maybe give or take a year. But we have the same sort of experiences. I would really like a health item. A little health item, please. Just a little one. You're a boomer and Generation X. Okay, then. Boomer. I don't get that crap, though. To be honest, uh, it annoys me. But I mean, it doesn't really matter what generation you are. I hate when there's the labels and attachments to a particular generation, because I can't with this. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> Just get that fruit. Fuck you. Get out of there. Oof. I'll drop a lurk moon. Thanks, Slardy. Thank you again for the raid. Enjoy the rest of the stream. I will do. I'll be really enjoying this game. I'm, I knew I would, though. It's a great game. It's just a little bit freaky. And I had to cheat on the minecart, but bugger it. The minecart itself is a cheat. The minecart has cheated me out of hours and hours and hours of my youth. I don't think I ever beat this game though as a kid, like legit. I don't think I ever I actually did. I'm gonna leave that strawberry. Might lead it later. Thank you, see ya. Because of my older brother and the influence it had on me. See, I'm the same way too, I think, because I've got older siblings. Have you not tried it yet? Well, avocado toast. I have, but not this MD version. Wait, what? <laughs> are we talking about have you not tried Dizzy? Or are we talking about avocado and toast? I've got confused. Oh, I'm not going there. I need to just get out of here and put this dragon egg and this stupid pail back. Don't even remember what the pail is for. Put that flower up? No. You know, you could really, you could really bugger up. Did I already use the ham and get rid of the pig? Because if you didn't, we're in trouble. I think I did though, right? A bit silly doing that minecart then. 
do you remember? I don't think you were here when I did the first one, Barley, and I talked about it. But do you remember this bonus level, Barley? The music on this. I, even though it's really simple music, I always really liked it. <laughs> I actually wanted to find it to put it on a playlist, and I couldn't find it. I don't think it's just not important enough. But I always found it like really, just moody, like late nights with the Mega Drive. Boom. Even now, it's like, in Japan, it's like 3.15 in the morning and I'm just sitting here in a blanket and chilling out with this. I actually kind of want to just let it go a little bit longer to get to the fast... Oh no, I finished it, bugger. No, I haven't had the avocado, plain toast, but I've had it included on toasted bread sandwiches. I'm not really that big on avocado though, so I don't know if I'd like it. Boing! Do I need that one? I'm gonna wait. There's so many in, in the treehouse place. I shall just wait. Hey, this looks like a big UK game. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Got good music, right? Unlike all those nasty gems games. There's the cow. How are you doing, Kara? It's a lot more chill than uh, Atomic Runner. Which I very nearly played again tonight. I heard Dizzy was huge in the K. In the UK. It was, it was. We were just talking about that a little bit. My, my older brother in particular played... What's that? Oh. Played a lot of them on the Spectrum. But I played them here. I want to go back. I've got so much crap now, I can't even remember what I want to do. What was my trailer for? I went on that minecart, now I've just lost the flow. We were going in the underground, I believe. Whoops. Oh, thank you for the host. What? Carl Sebastian. Since when did my host alert start working? <laughs> Did that actually go off? That's like the first time a host has ever worked. Fellow Mega You didn't raid, did you? It's a host. Because every time Cobra Commander's here, she's always like, I just hosted you, but nothing happened. <laughs> I'm like, I know, it's because it doesn't work. <laughs> that actually went off. How nutty. I'm curious now. I'm just checking OBS. Has it randomly fixed itself? Hosted you. Oh, maybe it's because you've got two viewers that you're hosting for. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. I wonder if that's why. I've tried to set it to even include, like, zero. I see you have the Billy kneeing evil Richard Simmons. <laughs> yes. I had to include it. But, yeah, how are you doing, Carl? A host, but after a stream, that that might be why, just because there's like that, you know, someone lingering still. That might be the difference. But I thought I'd set. I've tried to set it so that it even goes off for like zero to one viewers, but just doesn't work. Oh well, you've you've found the secret host alert. Congratulations! It's actually the same as my raid alert because I got sick of nobody ever seeing it, so I changed it. What were you playing tonight? I will treat it as a raid and give you a shout out if you were playing something. Playing no game. I don't know that one. What else have I missed? Sorry, I got so flabbergasted by that. Add a little salt and pepper. My oh, Eurocontinental pal hold this games in high regard too. Sounds like your grudge with that final boss still has some spark, though. Oh, oh. 
I'm I'm revisiting that game though. I'm not letting it go. I nearly did it tonight, but then I ended up actually just talking to Cobra Commander for a while on Discord. She messaged me just as I was about to hit go live, and then I just sat down and made the most of the conversation. And then and then she suggested obviously Air of the Acrobat. And we had a little mess around on that, and then we ended up playing this. And I'm glad to be honest, because I think I don't know Atomic Runner would have probably just triggered me again. But I can do it. Don't deny it. But yeah, we've got me, Nee, and Richard Simmons. I think I was going to go in the underground. I think that was what my thought process was. And I just wanted to get those extra bits of health. And now we'll go in and see if we can do something with that dragon. I don't even know. I actually want to go on the minecart again, though. Is that bad? Because there's an extra life. You play GoldenEye Rogue Agent on the GameCube and everything on everything on the Game Boy Player. That's a, there was a 007 Game Boy game? Everything or nothing. I only know the one that was on the original Game Boy. Which I quite liked. It had like weird sort of RPG-ish elements, I remember. It was like a puzzly one. It reminded me of Yoda Stories or something. Do I need this bucket? I'm going to leave this bucket. I don't know what this bucket's for. Let's just take the pickaxe and the egg. Ooh, Game Boy Player. I kind of want one. You don't have one? I have one in the UK. I never use it. <laughs> I mean, I think we've got two because my brother's got they, got... they got really expensive, didn't they? I remember there's a James Bond weird 3D shooter. Game Boy Player, kind of want one. Oh, I just read that. Crusoe Grand. What's that? Is that a YouTube channel? 007 Nightfire. I haven't played that many James Bond games. I played Goldeneye, obviously. On the N64. Oops. Trash. <sighs> oh, fuck you, bird. Why are you even in here? It's, a, it's like an underground mine. It's like no sense. In fact, I'm going to go the other way for the minute. And check what's down the other side. Oh, that's the minecart again. We don't need to do the minecart again just yet. But one of those exits on the minecart leads to an extra life, so I might save scum it. You know? Because Kura, I know I, yesterday I was a little bit hasty with my I'm not safe scumming, I'm not safe stating on Atomic Runner, I have my pride, but Fantastic Disney has the trashiest minecart that's ever been created and I've already decided to get over myself. For the benefit of entertainment. Exit? I don't... There's that dragon. Doesn't this just take you somewhere trashy? Well, at least a bit after your resolve for Atomic Runner, you did beat it. I did. I could do it again. I think we don't need to question whether I could or not. But I, I might do it for fun. Safe Scum Selection wasn't needed. <laughs> no, I get what you mean, though. It's just something I've been I've been trying to do because it does make it a little bit more fun. It's, it's more rewarding, I think. Especially with Atomic Runner, it just felt like it would suck the satisfaction out. And it did, even just that. Just that checkpoint I made ruined it a little bit for me, personally. I re that's why I, I kind of want to go back, just to prove a point to myself. Because the game kind of... What's the word? Slapped me in the face with a glove a little bit. You know, and said it's on. I heard you mention Atomic Runner a few... Are you the person that recommended Atomic Runner? Somebody on Twitch somewhere recommended... Well, not recommended, but they said that I played Atomic Runner when I was younger. It was really good, but I could never finish it. I was in somebody's chat somewhere on Twitch and they said it. And it put it in my head, and then I played it. Please come forward, by the way. I'm not going to be angry. I did actually really enjoy it. It was just a little bit sad at the end. <laughs> What's... I'm, I'm kind of losing, because I'm crapping on, talking, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Was there something over here? Was this the way to the dragon? No. 
Yes, it's your favourite game. Maybe it was you then. It's in somebody's chat. Not Big Tools, was it? Or Retro's chat? It might have been me in some chat. I swear it was. Yes, 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 yes. I think it was you. you put it in my head. I did enjoy it. And I finished it. I just had to do a... Do the last boss for... Big Tall Not Small. Do you watch You watch Big Tall Not Small? That, that'll be where it is then. And it's you. So there we go. Mystery solved. But I did really enjoy it. It had amazing music. That was a really good highlight of that game. The music was just incredible. If I'm awake. <laughs> Got mad when the boss would just walk right up and kick the player with no room to back up. Yeah, that last boss was a little bit trash, you know. But that last boss is just, you know, forever immortalised now. Where is he? Courtesy of Barley Bap cutting him out for me on the Photoshop. Where has it gone? There we are. Look at this clown. And now you love the game. It's very much Stockholm Syndrome with that one. Dizzy has stoner eyes. <laughs> He's just happy to see you, Runix. I'll just get that. Oh, we need dynamite. Bugger. Well, that's the end of this adventure. I'm going to leave the egg just outside, though, because I'm pretty sure that I don't... I don't... I can't do anything until I've got that the dynamite for the thing. Whoops. It's a crap place to put a hole. There is a worm that always gets me at like the third or fourth level, so I lose all my life and continues. A worm? Is it a boss or the mid-boss? The dragon thing on the third level on the bridge pissed me off. If I finish Dizzy, we could do another little spin on Atomic Runner, if there's time. Because I am the Atomic Runner professional now. And everybody will leave except you. Because everybody is sick of watching me play Atomic Runner. The dragon thing on the bridge probably... Yeah, that one killed me a few times. Dizzy. What? What was it doing? How long until Moon is doing speed running tests of the world? Well, <laughs> there's only so much speed running you could do in that. It's kind of on the clock, but the bosses, I guess, you could. I will never be speedrunning Atomic Runner, though. Just finishing it is enough. Go up. Whoa. Is that the stoner eyes? This bird. Just jank. Just need to be better at the game. Honestly, it's just practice with that game. And you have to find a, f a few exploits. The dragon is trash, though. You just need to jump and bounce on his head a little bit. But I played it yesterday for hours. I was reading on the Wikipedia earlier, as well as the arcade game, there was going to be a, um, a Sega Saturn port, but it never happened. I believe that this will destroy the axe. A bridge builder's sharp axe. I don't want to actually fall in, though. Whatever, we'll, we'll leave it there, because I can't do anything until I've got the oxygen. Which I believe is on the pirate ship. I don't remember what this, this pickaxe is for. I don't know what to do with it. I'm just going to leave it. 1cc speed run for Atomic Runner Arcade. I had a look at the arcade version. I didn't like it. I think the Mega Drive version wins. They changed the aesthetic for the Mega Drive version, and in my opinion, they improved it a lot. I think I need this for the pirate ship. I 
don't remember what the hell this bucket is for. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm just going to leave it. And I think we're going to go visit the pirate ship now. Actually, what we should do... There's no items here that I've left to take with me. I'm going to go on the minecart and try and get that extra life. Then, oh, I need the cow. I want this cow. Let's take this cow with us. And I'm going to use a little save again to do this shitty minecart and try and get out the right exit because I don't remember the map. Because I'm kind of feeling like I want to finish this game actually after all. And not play it over and over and over and over. Ooh! I need some more food now. I should probably, yeah, I should probably get food before I go on the minecart. Is there anybody over here? There's some. No speedruns for the Sega MD. I think it has to be played on real hardware, though. I'm definitely not a speedrunner. It's not something that's ever really appealed to me. I don't mind like looking at other people. <laughs> right, we're gonna do the minecart from hell. I'm gonna save. Because the goal of this is to get an extra knife, not to lose all four of them by going the wrong way. Minecart. What could possibly go wrong on a minecart, right? It says only one person needs to be... Oh, yes, yes, that is true. Because that's like me. If I registered, I currently have the fourth... The fourth speed... Speedrun attempt on Beauty and the Beast Bell's quest. Oh. That's that exit. Eh, no. Because there's only three people so far. So I'm definitely number four. Perhaps I should just give them my Twitch video. I could get fourth place. But it's not the original cartridge. So it's probably not allowed. And I didn't, you know, I didn't rush on purpose. Oh, I don't know which exit it is. Why do I feel like this is death? Oh, we're dead. Just how trashy this is. Minecarts are the worst thing. It's not even rude placement. The whole of this car is a joke. Originally, there's stars on it, which kind of gives you a hint where to go, but it is a case of, like, you've got five choices. Three of them kill you. Good luck! <laughs> over and over and over again. You kind of get a sense for it. It's like that, you know. Every single one of these is just death, 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 and rocks falling on it is death, and enemies on there are death. It's really garbage. Was it your birthday now? I'm being dragged away to socialise since my birthday people came over. I just wanted to wrap it in my back with a hot cup of coffee. Oh, Well, I enjoy your birthday, though. You know, have a lovely day. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. You might as well make the most of it, especially if you've got people that want to do something. Yeah, it's a bad enemy placement. It's like the whole map is just one giant bad placement. I'm trying to go the, the slight, the kind of wrong way. One of these exits will give me an extra life. But I don't have any memory of this place. It's been... Oops, I, I press right for fuck's sake, stupid thing. Oh. 
but I'm not really in, I'm not really in the mood for Dizzy's silly minecart shenanigans. Is this death or is this the exit? I think this might be one of them. No. And you have to do this once. You have to go all the way through getting all the stars and get to the very end to get the item. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that one's death. the actual one that's going to take me to the exit. The bad exit, though. This one. I think this is the one that I'm looking for. Yes. There we go. It's over. No more minecarts ever again. And we get an extra life. Am I making you want to play this again, Barley? Other than the Minecraft. That is the goal, to be honest. I'm glad that you're here. Because I know we've been talking about it for a long time. <laughs> oh, I really want to get this music. I want to use it for, like, I don't know, like my Be Right Back screen or something. Kind of do. Do it. Give in. Fantastic Dizzy awaits. Now, I'm just going to leave this last piece because, you know, everybody likes a bit of chaos, right? And I just want to hear the end just when it gets a little bit faster. So good. Does it do another key? Oh, it does. Okay, that's enough. I like it when it's slower, though. I just like it on loop. That really slow music. Really good sleeping music. Okay. Still need to go to the market, <coughs> give the cow to the guy, I think, and get the money. Dizzy works hard. Whoops. I just realised actually, Curry, you've missed Cobra was here and Neon earlier. You do seem to come in as they've just been. <laughs> I think you did that the other night as well. I think I've finished down there, haven't I? There's nothing else to do. Um, at some point I need that skeleton key. Just an unfortunate time. Yeah. Kyra was here at the start when I went live because we played some of Aero Acrobat, which was her rede choice to redeem. Graveyard, dead end. What's that dead end? I don't remember what was at the end of the dead end. Nothing, maybe. You know, as actual dead. No, oh, money. Need that money. Get that money. Woo! Pays to look. Oh, God. I hate these little things. Whoops, whoops. And now we can give him his little cow. 
And he gives us a magic bean, just like Jack and the Beanstalk. Isn't that lovely? Now I think we should probably... just go back. I don't remember what this bag of gold is for though, because there's two of them and they're identical and one of them is to get rid of the, the, the toll troll. What if Jack and the Beanstalk, but EGG? Am, am I reading that right? I'm sensing a pun. <laughs> We're not quite getting the yoke. <laughs> what if Jack and the Beanstalk, but egg? Have I just ruined it? The presentation? No pun, just being silly. <laughs> Jack and the egg stalk. Jack and the egg plan. There we go, I'm here all night. No, your pun energy must have just like exploded barley after yesterday's whopper. That was a crap jump. Even that tree is upset about it. Not as good as my Azteca. <laughs> I was trying to find it, but I heard that. <laughs> I can't believe the shit that comes out of my mouth sometimes. Like three in the morning. <laughs> no, I really hate this jump. It's so fiddly. I died for that part. It was where I, I did. I quite literally died. Oh! Stupid egg. Let's go. The fact that he roll, roll, rolls is quite irritating sometimes. A magic green bean. Why is this leprechaun like holding a truncheon? Is that not what? Eh? Does he not want a magic bean? Wait, what? I thought he wanted the bean. Am I doing this wrong? Or does he want the flower? Oof, you fucker. Oh, stop it. What does does he want the bag of gold? Eh? I don't remember this. Oh, I know what he wants. He wants a shamrock. I think I'm just talking crap. Oh well, we'll leave the bean there because I'm sure that you need to use the bean. Oh, these snails, look at them. Sassing around. Stop rolling. I'm getting very nervous. Rolling into the damn snail. You use the bean there, but I don't think he gets it. No, I think, yeah, I think we use it after to collect. Doesn't it do the bean, the bean stalk to get to the Zack's castle? It's very end game, I think, that bean. I think we give him a shamrock, and I think the shamrock is on the pirate ship. I think it's time to go to the pirate ship now. Isn't it sad that you can remember everything? Well not, well, not everything, actually, but... <clears throat> Something's gonna kill me. I can feel it. Ooh. Really like a health power, but there's like none over here. I wish I could get up there. I do remember this bit though, we need to get the bridge making kit, I think, and then we can get the skeleton key. But I don't know what the skeleton key is for. Probably, is it for Zack's castle, perhaps? I wouldn't have been able to tell you the solutions to any of the puzzles here, but suddenly seeing the maps again brought it up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't think I'm going to survive these horrible tunnels. Might just have to to take one, you know, just die and get over it. Dun, 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 dun. 
shit. Now they got guillotined. One of these tunnels is this is this one's gonna claim me. Oh! Oh! Go, go, go! Fantastic Dizzy! Rats and eggs are natural. <laughs> and spiders. And birds. And butterflies. And drips. This is my favourite track though in the game. Most of the environment seems to want to kill Dizzy, it does. Well that's not, we don't need to go there, that's the castle. You know the one that is really bugging me, the item that I really can't remember, is the umbrella, which is here. And it's very early that they give you access to it, this is gonna kill me. Oh, actually, is it something great? Maybe I've made this up. Does the umbrella stop drips hurting you? That would have been useful. Oh, the skill. Because I can't remember the... I think it does... Yeah, I don't think the umbrella does anything. Oh, and here's me wasting my time not carrying it. Here we are bitching about how hard the game is. Don't, you little... I feel like there's food behind that. No, there's nothing. Just just a rat in a corner. Bad news. Oh, thank God I saved that strawberry. Thanks, past moon. I want to test that theory now. A protective old umbrella. I want to test that out, even though it's barely useful anymore. It would have been useful. Is there a drip in here? I don't think there is. Hmm. We need to go to the pirate ship, though. What do I need for the pirate ship? Probably nothing. I need that barrel of rum. Oh, I've already used it. Hmm. I'm just talking madness. Could I hit any more? <laughs> I perhaps I shouldn't. Mm. I don't really need the umbrella for here, do I? It's a waste. In fact, I need health. Let me see if there's health up here first. I do need some health. This is trash. Let's get that apple, and I'm gonna go... Maybe have to go and dump the umbrella. Because I feel like there's gonna... There's quite a few items here that I need. Let's see if I can put the umbrella back. How can I get back over there? Woof! That is such bullshit. Let's just leave the umbrella somewhere where we can actually pick it up if I want to later. I wish I, there was some more food here. Right, let's leave that. I don't know if I need the bag of money. I don't remember what the bag of money's for. Or if it's just, is it just a backup? I wonder if it's just a backup one in case you came to the toll guard from the other side. I don't think you can, though. A heavy bag of gold coins. 
So I kind of don't really want to take it on the pirate ship. I'm not going to. I don't think I need it on the pirate ship. I'm pretty sure that I need the crowbar though. A very strong crowbar. It's just a nightmare, you know, when you go all the way there and then you realise you've missed something and then you get killed trying to get back. That's not the way to the pirate ship. Oops. Whoa. Right, and I'm gonna also just have a very quick little break and go get. I'm gonna open a beer and have a toilet break. So I'm gonna be right back about three minutes. I'm gonna run some ads while I do as well to get rid of those pesky pre rolls, and I shall be back. back. Thank you for the house barley as well as all on the be right back screen. I guess it doesn't work after all. And I'm 
just gonna pour this beer, which always froths and makes a big bloody hat. He did his test. <laughs> yeah, it's no luck. I can't even force it either. It doesn't even come up in the thing. It's like, it's weird. I don't get it. I mean, I could probably set one up with like stream elements or some you know, slobs or whatever they call it, but it's just annoying, isn't it? Shinoa, thank you for the. Is that right? Shinoa, A, thank you for the follow. How you doing? Whoops. But it is just a little bit annoying, like, so I don't really want to use anything to do with slobs much. I use it for my chat box, but at the end of the day, it's just more more complicated. It's like, just for one alert, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Is there nothing up there? No, there is a thing. How do I get up? Oh shit, I need the rope. Oh, that's a mood. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about when you go somewhere and you realise you haven't got the right item. Oh, such devastation. Well, I'm half tempted, you know, to just like do the... Isn't there the pirate ship crap that we can do now? Perhaps just fall in the water. Oh, these, these rats. How are you supposed to do this, Jang? Getting a bit sleepy, but I like me some Mega Drive action. Guess I would prefer Dizzy more on the spec or the Spectrum. Have you played the Dizzy's, the Spectrum Dizzy's? I've not really played much of them, but my older brother used to play a lot of them. We were talking about them earlier. Is that one you would recommend? Because I'm actually, I'm very seriously thinking about giving the other Dizzy games a go because I love this one so much. I don't know why I've never really bothered to check the others out. The only one I did try was the mobile phone one. But the touch the touch controls kind of annoyed me. Second most stressful bit of the game. I'm just you know which bit I'm getting stressed about is that bloody pirate. When he chucks you in the water. It's gonna kill me. I can feel it. Is that what the crowbar's for? Yes, I knew I needed the crowbar for here. Thank God for that. Zax. Porticulous winch handle. That's crucial. The bit, the bits with the bubbles is going to be the the deciding factor, isn't it? Ooh, maybe I should have brought that umbrella. I'd be curious to play the Master System version of this now as well, actually. Which obviously I probably just will do because I think I'm going to play some of them. Never knew about the Z extraction before YouTube. It's just something about the colour clash that makes it more appealing to me. <laughs> Dizzy's sprite's quite exciting on the spectrum. I do I think his eyes are very... They, they've seen into your soul. Bugger. Down at the bottom, then. Oh, there's the dynamite for the dragon. I love the. See, honestly, they should. Re they could really have done something with the series. It's such a shame that that Kickstarter didn't get funded. Because, can you imagine if they did something like they did, you know, with the dragon's trap or whatever it was? It would have been really nice. Right, let me just do something. I 
The way the Spectrum handled palettes in general makes everything on it have a really unique look. Have you done a lot of Spectrum stuff, Neon? Because I find it it's a, a bit lesser played in America. I just wonder what, what you're familiar with. All I know on the Spectrum is... Is it Manic, Manic Miner, Maniac Miner and Jet Set Willy? Kind of puzzle platformer subgenre has a lot of room for expansion. Can make some... See, you know, if they did, they did like a Wonder Boy remake, but for Disney, but not Disney, Dizzy. They did not even just a remake, but just something new, you know, like a new take on Dizzy, like the, what was that new Wonder Boy Cursed Kingdom or something? Just, and got rid of the live system and just did this sort of gameplay. It's really fun, you know, like finding the items and doing a bit of platforming. I've got one little star that I need to get. Spectrum was pretty European, I think. Yeah. I haven't, but I want to explore it more. I have one that I picked up from a collector from Brazil that I need to do some work on. Have you got any games? Because they're really weird, aren't they? They're like cassettes. If I remember, which kind of blows my mind. I still think the technology of playing a video game from a cassette tape is really kind of wild. I suppose it's no different from a CD, but just... I have a, a silly question. This is going to sound very... Um, like, you know, we just said earlier about, like, oh, I'm not a millennial. This is going to be the most millennial thing of the stream. But what happens when you get to the end of the cassette? Like, do you have to turn it over to continue playing? I've always wondered that. <laughs> I've never asked. Because <laughs> the only thing I remember of those Spectrum cassettes is cassettes were a pain. The only thing I remember the cassettes is my brother had one. It was, uh... I've never played it though because he didn't have the console. I think the spe our Spectrum broke. But he had um, Horace skiing or something. <laughs> and I just remember the cassette in the house. How do I get out of here? I'm gonna die. This is garbage. US Canada got hit by the video game crash. I think it went more Atari and Nintendo. Stuff like Commodore Spectrum didn't get around here. Yeah, because I was here about this, this like so-called video game crash, but... I mean, I wasn't really alive then anyway, but I don't, I don't remember the UK being on about it much. I think they usually preload, at least in my experience. The data loads before the tape finishes, so what it does is read the game code from the cassette to the RAM first, and then it runs out of RAM. Out of the RAM. Horace Goes Skiing, cute game, that's the one, yeah. Never had a specy though, only BBC Micro. I always wanted the BBC computers that we had in school. I mean, I had considered streaming some Dizzy. I could probably do it from the Ant stream. A little break from all these Mega Drive games. I need that food now. These rats just really fuck you up. But I always said, I said, Neon, that I think Cobra would quite enjoy this game as long as she just kind of used save states to get rid of the trashy game over difficulty because it's, it's a bit punishing in that sense and it kind of, it kind of kills the game. That's always what put me off about the Spectrum Dizzy ones. They're a little bit brutal. But I think, you know, back then, didn't have that many games yet to play. What's down here? Have I already done it? Oh, I don't need that. Can't go that way. Ugh! No, 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 stop rolling, Dizzy. I think I have to go underneath the bottom. Right, I think I've got everything on this pirate ship now, except what's at the top. So I think I'm just going to take the plunge with the captain. Oof. How can I get up there? Not that way.
It was two before I was born. As a kid, we had the NAS. Lots of US centricism leads acting like it hit everywhere. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know if it did hit the UK. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if you would know, Barley, but I don't remember about this video game crash because I was seeing all the documentaries and then the video game crash and all the games and E.T. and... I don't, I don't really know anything about that other than what I've seen on YouTube and it does seem to have this impression that it was like a global thing that happened. I mean, what was it? I've had I mean, I've had conversations with... Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that thought for a second, but... Gaming scene continues to thrive here through computers. Console adoption was relatively slow. Remember a lot of folks growing up didn't own a console, just things like Amigas. Japanese arcade scene was booming. Yeah, exactly, that's what I kind of got the impression. Cabinets were modular rather than dedicated. See, I always thought, I, I had a conversation recently, like, talking to people, it was on about, like, you know, the success, like, was the, was this console successful? And people just say, like, oh, yes, it was, and no, it wasn't, but it's like, but you're only talking about America, there's the rest of the world, you know, was the Mega Drive a success? Yes, but was it a success in Japan? No. Uh, but the Mega Drive was a success, I would say, because it was a big success in more than one continent. It was a success, a huge success in Europe, especially the UK, and it was a success in America to an extent, but but also success in Brazil. But people write the Mega Drive off, and the, and the Master System has failed. Like, the Master System, they say, wasn't very successful. It's like, well, maybe just not in America it wasn't successful, but it was probably the bigger console in, in the UK. Ah, oh, this part... This part is jank. It's not jank, it's just difficult. Oxygen! Hold your breath! And then, the, the, you know, you got the same argument with the Sega Saturn. Was the Sega Saturn a complete flop? Mm, maybe in the West. I know, that's the thing. I still, I have never to this day seen an NES in the wild in the UK, like all growing up, or I've never seen one. I don't know anybody who owned one. I understand Nintendo must have like had some money, but I don't remember anybody having one. All anybody had was Master Systems or like Ataris and things like that. And yet every documentary you'll see is how like a huge success the NES was. And it's like, maybe it was in your country. The SNES, though, SNES was far more successful in the UK, but I would still say it still wasn't as, as successful as the Mega Drive. All my friends had Mega Drives, and only two people I knew, not really a friend, but just someone I went to school with, I was friends for like a little bit, he had a SNES. I had a SNES, but I had a SNES because I had an older brother who was full-time working at that point and could of course afford to buy things but a lot of the kids you know growing up they could only have one console and they had the mega drive i was lucky though because i wasn't paying for everything my brother bought the mega drive and he also brought the snares using his income because he just started working at that point i think and the mega drive that we got was like a sort of like Chinese bootleggy one an Asian one I mean it's still legit it ran properly but it was it looked like it was Japanese but it was actually ooh I need that star it was actually Asian I found out later which may have been why it was cheaper apparently there was quite a few of them in the UK oh my god this bit's going to stress me out we've got to get out of this water why is the oxygen still there? Give me a bubble. That one, thank you. Whew, get out. Okay. It's over. We did it. Now we get the oxygen tank. 91 stars to go. Sorry, I just had my little ram while I was bubble hopping. Didn't know a single person. Was your clone Mega Drive a Scorpion? It wasn't a clone, it, it was technically a Mega Drive. It was just boxed to look like it was actually Japanese, but it wasn't. It was from the Asian market, I think. 
so for as far as I'm aware there was next to no difference the only thing that I did notice was different was the um, the back of the Mega Drive where the uh, what do you call the old things the not SCART cable you know the old TV aerial thing plugged into the back of your TV for the Mega Drive that was actually built into the casing so you couldn't remove it from the back of the Mega Drive. It was hard coming out of a hole in the back of the plastic, which was quite a bother because then when I use my um, when I use my Master System converter that sat on the top of it that I got later, it flattened the aerial because it had no way to feed through it and it kind of crushed it and broke it a little bit and that kind of killed my Mega Drive a little bit. The aerial's dodgy. You have to bend it into a certain angle to get it to work. Didn't know uh, all Master System, SNES and Game Boy was where Nintendo started to find their feet. Yeah, definitely. Especially the Game Boy. A lot of people had Game Boys. SNES was definitely second fiddle to Mega Drive in my experience. I think sales back that up too. Yeah, it was just more expensive, I think. It was just the games too. Mega Drive was always cheap. Like I just said with this, like I bought this for £16 and then I also bought like Mario Nintendo one for like £30. £30 second hand or whatever it was, which is a lot of money then. MSX computer platform was inconceivably huge in Japan, Europe and South America, but people repeatedly say that the NES killed it because it never hit North America. Yeah. MSX still has a big following in trance today. Lots of Japanese fans write about it online. What's your clone Mega Drive? Let's go all around to that one. Is the goal of the game to collect all the stars? Yes. So at the end of the game, we have to fight the wizard Zax. If you don't have all 250 stars, you can't finish the game. So it's sort of like a progress bar, because the closer you get to the end, you naturally find them anyway. But if you miss a couple, you're in trouble. But they're not hard to find, as long as you just look everywhere. I mean, I'm saying this, I'm probably going to end up missing one now. I saw that on YouTube video recently, I don't remember ever seeing it in the wild here though, but I did watch Bad Influence. Fascinating story, I recently got into NMSX. This conversation is so fun. I'm, I'm glad that all you people are all in the same place at one time, because you all know so much. <laughs> Especially, it's nice having Neon Arcadia as well to join in the conversation. That reminds me actually, Neon, I was going to ask you something and I forgot what it was now. I was maybe going to ask you to help me if I can't get the 11th hour to run. I think I'm going to, I've got one more idea that I'm going to try tomorrow. But if I can't get it to run, I might be asking you for a bit of help. Because I bought it on Steam and it won't work with my capture card. But my alternative solution is I've acquired a another version of it that isn't from Steam and I'm going to run it through ScumVM but I didn't I have time to try it today there's always a way see I've got I've got people people have used channel points to, insisting that I play the 11th hour and I still have not done it that crab is so chill I don't want to go down there yet though I need to fix I need to get rid of some of these items. Love this tune so much. I'd forgotten about this music. We need to dump this stuff though, sadly, so you can't listen to it, I'm afraid. It might be fun to try doing a homebrew version of it at some point. Doesn't seem like it'd be hugely different. It's nice to have the history buffs here. Yeah. You know loads though, Retro. I, I find it interesting as well. Because whenever you've been streaming something, you always seem to know, uh, or at least done your homework on it. Which is cool. Like I liked what the, the information you were telling us all about when you played, uh, what was it, Noah's Art 3D. Interesting story behind that. I'm going to leave that there. And this dynamite needs to go in the mine. Should we just do the mine first? I think we can now. No, I'm going to check the underwater just in case there's one more item that I've neglected to think about. Why is that? The music seems really loud in my ears suddenly. Let me know if it's too loud on the stream. I don't think I even thought to ask. I need to get the flippers. I don't know where the flippers are. 
you clueless about pre-60? Yeah, I am too. It's just it's just beyond my age, so I don't have that nostalgia for it. It's weird because I always think like, how can people not love the Mega Drive? How can, you know, maybe younger people, I'm like, how can you not like this? This is so good. But then I think, well, maybe it's the same way that I look at like some NES games or, I've grown to like NES games though, but before pre-NES, it's a bit more of a struggle for me to get into it. You have a little nost I have no nostalgia for NES. I mean, people. I mean, I've had people in stream. I don't mind it, of course, but I've had people in stream. They'll be like, "Do you know this?" I'm like, "No, I, I don't. I don't know anything on the NES really, except for the very mainstream titles." I like to know about it though. I think Runix Kaiser that was here earlier reminded me about this one game that I need to do, and I've forgotten the name again. Is it called White Tiger or something? It's got this hor horrific front cover, but it's supposed to be a good game. I wish I could remember how to get the flippers. We need those to finish the game. Time to play with expert. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did read that bit already. Somewhere there's this flippers that lets him swim in the water and that is going to make all of this a bit easier. See, I can't even reach. Barty, do you remember where the flippers are? I can't remember whether we need to keep going or not. Oh, that's what... Oh, shit. That's what the axe is for. That's the pickaxe. I remember now. And I've got a, I've got a weird, weird, weird feeling that the bubble takes me to where the flippers are. I don't know. Where, where did I leave that pickaxe? In the mine? Love Mega Man and Castle See, I've grown to like... Oh, fuck you. Trash jumping. I've grown to like the Meg, the, the NES, like Mega, uh, Mega Man and Castlevania. Definitely prefer Mega Man though. I love Mega Man now, but I have no nostalgia for it. All my Mega Man nostalgia is for me playing it like six years ago for the first time. See, yeah, it's interesting that you're clueless about the 16-bit stuff retro, because it's kind of it, it's kind of like been fun to meet halfway and like share different things, and it's also fun that like I've said, oh yeah, James Pond, and then you've checked it out on a an Amiga version or something. I don't know where to get that moon. I'm gonna. I wish I could remember where I put that fucking pickaxe. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I need it. Is it on the thing here? No. Dynamite. Where's the pickaxe? I don't know where the hell I've left the damn thing. I think I left it maybe in front of the tree houses. Amiga Atari ST was 16 bits at least in some respective models. Yeah, I guess in, in some ways, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think. That Monkey Island's got a lot of colours, isn't it? What bit's that? What the hell does this pail of water do? Like, really? Still don't know. Item management, you got it. How you doing, Chrono? Uh, I'm going to take that with me. I don't remember where the damn flippers are. We need them. Wait, 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 wait. I think somebody gives them me. Denzel gives them you, I think. We need to get a box of matches for Denzel. Maybe that's what's over there. I tried Air of the Acrobat earlier today, Chrono. It was terrible. It caused me so much pain. I'm sure I'll get into it, but it was rough. <laughs> I couldn't even do the third level. Oh no, indeed. Did she leave the pickaxe on? Oh, I've read chat too late. 
I should be reading chat faster because Kura's here and Kura's usually very good at these sorts of games. Remembering things and where things are and where to go. How many games have you played on the Genesis, Kura? I mean, I feel like you know a lot of the SNES games. You didn't help this time, it's completely off with a pickaxe. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. I want to check how much health have I got. I don't want to get that moon unless I really need it. Damage halfway. Oh, I should just get it, I think. Count them on your hands. What? Sonic 1, Sonic 2, <laughs> Rocket Man, Adventure. See, do you know what though? Terrible this is. For, for how much nostalgia I have for the Mega Drive, you'd be surprised at some of the corkers that I've not actually played. I've not played Rocket Knight Adventures. I've not played Gunstar Heroes either, it's terrible. It's kind of like me with the N64. People have a massive amount of nostalgia for it. It was never really my thing, but I've grown to appreciate it more since streaming. The thing is, I think, with the N64, it's not a good console. It has good games. It's That's really it. Never really seen much of that game. Aren't there more? Yeah, there's more than one, but apparently the sequel's better. Air of the Acrobat 2 is supposed to be a lot better. You've never played Rocket Knight? No. Is that a redeem jingling? <laughs> That's the first one, right? I've got it ready to go, though. I'm very bad at remembering the names of Megatron Genesis. I keep getting them mixed up. We got Socket Socket as well, haven't we? Which one would you prefer first, Barley, next time I'm going? I'll do it when you're around. Woof. I did boot up Socket and got it ready to go. Can I even stand on that now? Sequel has incredible first stage theme, one of my favourite 16 bit songs. Oh, you know, I love Mega Drive music though. Sparks are isn't as good, so quite fun though. Rocking Out Adventures is the first. There's three though, isn't there? Because there isn't this, the SNES one's like not related. So. But yeah, that was my hot take on the N64. It has good games on it, but it wasn't a very good console. It's just I, I always thought the N64 was very like drab and dreary. Bum, bum, bum. Do you know what? I'm not sure about what is this bag? The large bag of salt. <laughs> That's what I needed yesterday, large bag of salt. They're all their own take on the core mechanics. Not really sequels, more like another take. Is there two on the SNES then? SNES Sparks, though, which is really bears more of a resemblance to the first Rocket Knight than the Mega Drive Sparks that the Canon sequel does. I don't think either sequel is really on the level of the first person. Did you ever play the PSN one on PS3? What do I need a bag of salt for? You want to play the PSN one? I have the PSN one. You played the demo and quite... Yeah, I played the demo and quite liked it. And then I bought it eventually, eventually, much, much later. Can I go down here? I'm really like... I don't remember. And I'm going to be really pissed off if it leads to death. No, it's not death. Okay. Money. What a good nap I took. Are we close to the end? <laughs> mm, maybe. About... about about two thirds, I would say. We're starting to wrap things up, running out. We've been to most of the locations now, and to, except for the final hall. Oh, crap, this fish is going to ruin my evening. Oops, everybody's here. All the gang from Cobra side of Twitch. All in one place because I'm up stupidly late. Oh, how the chuff do I get out of here without dying? 
This is ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do with this, Dizzy? Oh, am I stuck down here forever? I've got a bad feeling. I think I should come here when I got the flippers. I think I can even make this. No! This is a soft lock! This is a soft lock, isn't it? Trash. But you know what I say to soft locks? Be gone. I'm glad I made that say. <laughs> we'll go back there when we've got the, sw with the, the swimming flippers. Soft lights are no match for the power of safe state. <laughs> it's a good safe state that was. I just thought that was going to be death. Don't go there, you idiot. What on earth do I do with a bag of salt? Except use it for that soft lock pit. I'm sure it. Doesn't it make something rise, the bag of salt? It's a good crowd. It makes me sad I can't stream at this hour all the time. You're a moderator? Yeah, I modded you a little bit ago. <laughs> Congratulations! I just felt like I want an extra pair of hands sometimes, you know? Get angsty when I see that. Oh, well, my main reason, I'll tell you what it was. My main reason is when, um, you know when you get the first time message that someone's new and they've chatting for the first time, I would like you to be able to see that, just to be an extra pair of hands in case we get another one of those. What was it that I had on my stream the other week? Was Someone said something about, I like the way you talk. In fact, I can read it out. It's on my thing. I put it on my about page. I like the way you talk to me. It makes me want to grab a Wii remote and shove it up my ass as I listen, Daddy. So, yeah, I just like uh, <laughs> the extra pair of hands sometimes because, you know, sometimes I'm just busy with that Wii remote and I can't click delete fast enough. Well, oh, that's what happened when I was playing Castle of Illusion the other week. <laughs> Someone got very excited about it. It's an axe, not a pickaxe. <laughs> the internet is weird. Yeah, well, it's, it's sometimes it's part and parcel of just having LGBT tag, you know. Just what happens. Bridge builder, sharp axe. I wonder if I can just go in now. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he wasn't a troll, you know. Maybe he's just, I mean, a banned his ass, but maybe he was legit really enjoying the stream. Who am I to judge? Oh, there's the symbols that's going to wake up. Oh, I forgot all about Dozy. We've not even woke Dozy up yet. Oh, but we've woken up Dreamy Magenta Sheep. Hey, how you doing? We're playing Fantastic Dizzy. It's been fantastic. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like tonight everybody and their mum is here. I don't think we're missing anybody. Everybody's shown up and said hello. It's lovely. Well, big tall. Oh, Mecca, I guess. Has it been fantastic though? It has, Chrono, because I really like this game. It's been mostly really good. Just a janky minecart. He is just passionate about his Wii Remote. He's passionate about my stream. Right, I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to... Go wake up Dozy, I guess. 
and I shall take this with me along the way. I wish I could remember what the bag of salt did. I don't know when we need it. You know, if you know what you're doing in this game though, ooh, pair of salt. I think like, a, I don't know a long play of this. If you know what you're doing, I think it's only about an hour and about two hours, an hour and 30, but when you don't know what you're doing, it can take ages. And when you half know what you're doing, it can take even longer. Did you have a nice sleep, Dreamy? Oh, I don't need to take this, this is for Zack. I can just leave this all the way over here for ready when we want to go see the wizard Zack. Pay him a call. I don't think this game is going to take me quite as long as it has done though. But I guess it's because I'm enjoying just chatting as well. I oh, we need to find Dozy. I wish I had the matches though. I'm going to eat that. No, yeah, I'm going to eat that strawberry. Just watch me. There we go. That's quite a bit about. Yeah, there is when you don't know what you're doing. If you could streamline it down, it would be pretty good. And even yeah, and even when you do know what you're doing, it is a bit forwards, backwards this way. Port side, starboard. Doz is all the way at the top, isn't he? Some of the things that we're doing now, we could have done at the beginning of the game. Like, the sensible way to have done this game, if I was to play this again, is to do the minecart as quickly as possible and just decide, you know, because then you can either rip yourself or don't rip yourself and you can decide if you're going to carry on playing or not. And I mean, the minecart basically pushes you into town anyway. You could probably do the pirate ship. You could probably do the minecart, go into town, then go to the pirate ship, make your way back through the bubble bit, and that would probably be a, a faster way to get through that. I've always went straight for the minecart. Yeah, I just thought you had to do it much later on. I don't know why I got that in my head. I always thought it was like halfway through the game. That's why it was such trash. I didn't realize you could unlock it so quickly. Grandpa Dizzy. I just want Dozy. Where's Dozy? The castle and the pirate ship. We can't do the castle yet, though, right? Oh, after the pirate ship, you can though. We've got to get the. We've got to get the wench. That reminds me, though, I need to take the rope with me when I go to the pirate ship. How do I get to Dozy? You need the cross. I do need the crossbow, but I also need the, the the, the valve thing, the porticulus wench. We can't get into the castle without, and that's in the pirate ship. And it's at the top on the sail, and I need the rope to swing over. But I just want to do dozy, because I want to get the swimming things. Oh, you bugger. Double bugger. Bung. Yawn, says Dozy, as the clash of symbols wake him. Dozy offers you his old thick rug. <laughs> I mean, thanks, Dozy. I don't remember what this thick rug is for either. Is this for something in the castle? I don't think we use this here. Dozy has been about as much help as he possibly can. You are lucky just finding him still awake. When people wake me up, I definitely throw my rug at them and tell them to piss off and let me sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with this old rug? I can't remember. I feel like, do we have to put it over like spikes or some shit in a castle? Or am I making shit up? Oh my god, Dizzy. Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. Stop it. Behave. It's a great picture. It's like me in the morning. Except far, whew, far more chilled. Oh crap, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just being stupid. Let's eat that pear. Oh. 
need to find a box of matches. That will give me the the flippers if I can rescue Dylan. <sighs> I don't know where the matches are though. I think I should just just go do the pirate ship and call it a day. gonna fall down there just in case it kills me. Oh, full fruit though. Book her up. Damn bird. Right, we'll leave the rug here because I don't think I need it. And we'll go on the pirate ship. Ah, oh, I need the rope. I need the rope and then we'll go on the pirate ship. There's the rope. Take the rope. And that should be all. I could probably actually, maybe, oh no, well, I'm not going to bother, no, 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 no. Where, oh, I haven't been in the mine either, I should go in the mine too. Oh, there's money in an umbrella. Um, I'm gonna leave the umbrella there. I don't think I need it. Not yet. You know, maybe I should get the cross. Actually, I should just get the crossbow because I could probably do the castle straight afterwards. I'll do that. While we're in the area, where is it? There it is. Where's the shamrock then? I feel like the shamrocks are was an early item. I just made it up. I also thought the matchbox was pretty early too. It's a free Denzel, but... Mm. Right. Oh, I wanted the umbrella. I think, no, I don't want the umbrella. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Get it on the way back. I'm gonna leave this crossbow here. And then we'll go. Oh, this is the, not the pirate ship. something and I can't think what it is. Oh, you... Oh, fucking garbage, that is. Oh, come on. Why can't I reach that? Is, is it the rope from here? Oh, there we go. Woo. Fantastic, is it? Look at that clown up there, ready to pounce and pop you off. The ledge. Bird's gonna hit me. Ooh. 
There we go. That's what I needed to get in the castle. And now we can leave. Oops. Those houses in the background remind me of like the Home Alone logo. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's because they look like it. This 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 uh, tunnel is so sobering. I'm, like in my room, and then the, the deadly silence, and then I can hear the, the traffic outside. I don't need that rope. I'm gonna get that umbrella though, I think. Because there's all those shitty drops. That would explain it exactly. Sometimes the turn of phrase is a very silly thing. I've also had this beer sitting in front of me for ages and I've never seen to drink it. Ooh, actually, mm. actually, I'll probably message you about it, Chrono. I did want to ask you something about DS stuff, because Dream is thinking of doing a Kingdom Hearts series playthrough, and would probably want to play the DS Kingdom Hearts one. And I know that you were recently playing a DS game, so I might poke you for some info if you don't mind at some point. Um, where can we, oops. This way, I think. Oh, ow. Thank you. Kingdom Hearts would be very nice, I think. It would be. But it's like one of those where you like want to play them all. Don't want to miss a couple of them. Seventy one stars to go. You never played them, but it looks really cool. They're worth your time, yeah, if you like that sort of stuff. You should emulate a DS game in a few months. First few months the DS is pretty solid these days. It was very comfy to play. Oh maybe you could help as well then. It's just uh Dreamy was just talk I was just talking to Dreamy about it earlier. I don't know if she's gone at the minute, but was just talking about it and she said that that one would be a bit tricky to do though and she forgot that the HD collection wasn't the actual game. It's just cutscenes in it. Right, I'm gonna save because I'm pretty sure that this is another wrecker of a good run. Off we pop. Oh god, I can't even remember how to shoot. Oh, there's a duck. out of time. These crappy controls. There's no need for this shitty bit of the game. Ah. Do we need to just survive or kill? I can't even remember. Oh, we win. That wasn't so bad, actually. I think every time we have to do it, if I remember or not. Dizzy overthrows the local king. <laughs> Savage. Usurper Dizzy. Yeah, you've been wanting to see this room for a while. It means I don't have to think about what to play next for <laughs> I mean, that is, a, that is nice for me, to be honest. Like, I've just got these games to go, but sometimes with just a full series of one thing, I kind of get a bit like, oh, after a while, we're bored or something. I want to do something else. That's why I, had a, I took a little bit of a break from the Tomb Raider one that I was doing. It was just a little bit, getting to be a little bit much. This music's a bit of a bop though, isn't it? I, forgot, I don't remember this track because it was, 
you know, not so often that I got this far in the game. Time for me to jack. Good luck making Dizzy the local head of the government. <laughs> That's a stopping by, Kara. It's always nice to chat. Dizzy overthrows. Dizzy commits regicide. <laughs> he made one big, one screen big. Oh, thanks for the moan. Thanks for the eleventh hour moan. I made one big screen, one screen big, and one small, and then mapped the buttons to the controller to switch the ones. Probably depends what the game is. See, the Kingdom Hearts one, if I remember, they're not actually that bad. I don't think they used the touch screen much, did they? Or at least. 365 days didn't. I think it might have done just for equipping stuff. Dizzy out the guillotines. We're coming back here, are we? I hope I've got enough item space for this area. Thank you for the moan, body belt. DS emulation is a bit iffy from what I see. See, that's what I always thought, but then again, I haven't thought about it in a long time. There's a couple of games that I'd probably like to play, though, because even though I own them on the shelf, I just I just can't be arsed playing the DS. <laughs> I never play anything on it. I have all these DS games, and I just don't play them. I don't find we've had this conversation. I think Bali, haven't we? Like, especially like you know the three DS. It's just not very comfortable. It's pretty good now. I think three DS emulation is decent at this point. Oh really? It's pretty crazy though. What they can do. Do I have damage? Should I get that moon? a risk. Oh, that didn't work. Saw Arborella playing Link Between Worlds. You played Link Between Worlds that way? Hmm. Yeah, because I'm sure that there was one or two games I was thinking about. Oh, I think it was Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. There's a couple of Tomb Raider games that I'd like to have played. I would also like to play the the, the Tenchu DS game. What's this do? Is there, is there a reason for this fireplace? Sonic cut. Oh, that was what it was. Thank you. No, that was what it was because I was going to do my Sonic playthrough. I, was gonna, uh, I still plan to play through every single Sonic game I can get my grubby hands on. But the ones that I wouldn't be able to stream, would be, even though I have them on the shelf, I can't stream Sonic Colors on the DS and Sonic Rush. Fuck you. So that would be good because I'd really like to do Sonic Colors. And Sonic Dash Adventure. Is there nothing in this castle? Is it just stars? That fireplace is a bit suspicious. Sonic Colors on the DS is pretty solid. Order of Eclipse. That's another one I would want to play for my own personal thing because I refuse. I'm not paying like 150 fucking dollars for like Order of Ecclesia or whatever second hand with a busted case that I've seen behind a glass counter. No manual or whatever. It's like, really? Really? 
Castlevania is just bonkers at this point. They need to just print more of them when they make them. They do it every time. It shouldn't be. Like, can you believe Castlevania on the DS is rare? Why is that so scarce? It's Castlevania. Did they think nobody would buy them? Sorry, I got too emotional about Castlevania. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I've got the umbrella, so I don't need to think about those drips. Unless it's different now, Luigi's Mansion on DS can be done for some reason. So we're from playing the Clays recently and it worked well, I think. They need to put those Castlevanias on the, on a collection. Castlevania Collection 3, please. I want to buy them. I want the HD ones. Right, can we just leave this umbrella? I don't even... I don't need this anymore either. Go away. I think I need that. Two. Need to get a new machine. If you jump into GBA DS, see, I don't. I've never done anything like that, though. Unfortunately, I always worry about breaking it and not being able to play the the, the copies that I do have. I suppose I read DS Castlevania games got. Yeah, they all were. It's kind of crazy. I don't know where I'm going now. I don't know what I'm doing. We need a shamrock for the Irish person. The leprechaun. That's so rude. The leprechaun. What the hell is this carpet for? We need a box of matches to melt down Denzil. I don't remember where the box of matches are. I feel like I've missed them. Oh, I can go in the mine. We'll go in the mine. That's something. I think we can go. I'm not sure how it works. What the hell is this pail of water for? I feel like the dragon's egg is going to stop the dragon from attacking me. But I'm also a little bit like, don't quote me on it. Is it going to kill me? But I feel like we've done pretty well so far. I think I'm about to jinx the stream. I don't know, should I say it or not, but I, I really want to say that uh, I've not died yet. I'm really scared to even move now. <laughs> oh. I should have brought the umbrella. All these drippy drips. That psycho bird. Jack and Jill, after they go up there. Where is Jack and Jill though? I mean, it's obviously to collect some sort of water, isn't it? But, but where? Dragon egg. Let's go. Dynamite. Can't believe I just said that. British people are now like face rolling. Do you remember Miss Dynamite? <laughs> oh my god. Is this dragon gonna kill me? It shouldn't because I've got the egg, if I remember. Don't kill me. Okay, it's fine. <gasps> There's the son of a bitch. I brought your egg back. Be calm. There's the shamrock. 
But I still need the box of matches. I need the matches. I don't know where they are. I ain't got a clue. The shamrock is to get past the leprechaun to do the beanstalk, isn't it? Which is going to be the end of the game, almost. So, what am I missing beforehand? I'm getting tempted to even just Google it. What items have we got? Ooh. Just fuck those things. I was enjoying my beer. And I couldn't be bothered to use the jump button. He mostly can't really dodge them anyway. <clears throat> fuck you, bird. Every time. Bag of salt for bag of salt, pail of water. I'm gonna go back into the village though and try to get some food because I want to live. I feel like I've missed something really stupid, like just somebody's house or something. I'm gonna go to my house and get some food. Where's the box of matches? In fact, I'll leave those and I'll eat this. There we go. Back seat. Find Don and give him what he wants. I don't know. If you want a back seat, I don't mind at this point. I just, I particularly like to know where the batches are. You know, it's like five in the fucking morning. And I'd like to finish this before six would be really swell. I don't know where the matches are though. We need them to free, so I just remember we need the matches to free Denzel, who will give us the swimsuit. Well, not the swimsuit, but the flippers, which means I can then swim, which means I can do that underwater area. Who the fuck is Don? Don is the husband in Phantasmagoria. And we went, we were, we were stuck on Phantasmagoria for a very long time. And every time we clicked the hint icon, it kept saying, find Don and give him what he wants. I'm just gonna eat that strawberry. You remember now? I don't know. I just need to get off my own arse and Google this thing. I don't remember where the matches are. I don't want to go to the castle. A dry match. Oh, I've, they're in the, what? Grasslands gives you, oh, okay, no, we're fine. I, my memory is what's ruining me. We need to go to Shamus and give him the shamrock and then we can get the matches. I thought the matches were earlier though. I thought there was nothing after him. Right, well, we'll go do that, that's fine. Find Seamus and give him what he wants. Shamrock. 
Shamus. I don't know. I think it was spelt differently in the, in the FAQ that I was looking at. But that would be the Irish spelling, wouldn't it? Dun, 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 dun. I should probably just take Zach's portacolus with us while we're going there, you know. Save a trip. I did add some other backseat commands, finally. I don't know what the rug's for. I use it for the... I don't know. Although every time backseat gets used, it seems to just chuck out the same one. I'm glad it did a different one. It usually just keeps doing about the bloody flip the middle pillar. Right, getting to Shamus though is the right pain in the bloody arse. It's all the way at the very end. Not that way. I'm liable to kill you on the way. This way. How long have I been playing Fantastic Dizzy? Whoops. Oh crap. Double crap. Triple crap. Where is he? The graveyard. These quiet corridors. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Oh, I don't need to worry about the drips because I've got the umbrella. Oh, and I still don't, I still don't have the bridge making kit. To make the bridge and get the skeleton key. There's so much shit that I haven't done yet. Oh, look at that tree. He's outraged. Womp. Bird. There needs to be more health items around here. They tend to put them all at the beginning of the game and there's not many around here. I guess you killed a lot. I guess it's intentional. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. Right. Bugger off. Wee. <laughs> oh, he's in love, look. He's so happy because he's got his shamrock. His golden shamrock. They've got to give me a clue that that's what you needed, though. I remember being a kid and being, like, so confused why the bean doesn't work. The, the bean doesn't really need to be there, does it? Oh. Yeah, okay. This is the final location of the game. This is also where shit gets a little bit real with the janky platforming. Oops. Because of these crap ass butterflies. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> That's what the salt's for. No. And I'm on the wrong side. The backgrounds look cool. It's a gorgeous game. For, for when it was... No! Oh, shit. We're going to have to go around again. Oh, devastating. Where does this go? No! <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I've 
got to go again. Oh, this is so irritating. I thought you'd gone quiet. What you've been up to? Let me have a look in a second. This doesn't hurt though, does it? No. It can't hurt me anymore. What is this link? <laughs> Roar of the Vi- <laughs> Roar of the Beast Fantasia Atomic Runner <laughs> That's great I'm keeping that Oh did you post that? Oh no That is I felt appropriate given how many times he's trampled you underfoot. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> I still haven't seen JoJo, don't at me. Alright, what am I doing? Do you know what? I'm gonna, I might do the save scum and just go through the minecart again. Because it's the fastest way to get to Seamus without all that bullshit. <laughs> Going for all the sewers again. It's weird when you you know when I actually voluntarily want to do the minecart again. The fuck is this pail for? What is it for? Wait, where did I leave? Where did I leave the bag of salt? What is that pail for? No idea. I think the salt. Oh, piss off, spider. Although now I'm nearly dead. <laughs> There can't be that much, thing, you know, hopefully we can knock this out in the next 40 minutes. the stars mechanics works like why do we need the stars is there a door that doesn't open at the end if you don't have them I think that extra bag of money must just be for the the, the toll guard in case you come from the other way maybe because she went through the minecart is that how it works which way is the way I want to go let's open this door I think there's I think there's stars inside his castle though, is what I'm trying to remember. I think there's a couple of stars inside it, at the very end. It might be quite simply just the final room or something. It is a cute little mechanic though, I like it, how it like counts down as you're going through. It kind of makes you feel like you're getting somewhere with the game, it gives you something to Gives you something to jump and get. And they're mostly, except the minecart ones, they're trash, but they're mostly in like fun places. Yard. That's terrible jumping timing. Whatever. This is a bit of a run around at the minute though. I've got to go all the way to past the shamrock again. Oh. Just 
just because I did a bad jump. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. I also don't remember where we get the bridge making kit from. <laughs> kind of want to get some food. Do I need it? There's the match. Oh, let's leave this as well. We don't need this. That's to go to Zach's castle. And this... is to give us a safe way over. But I don't think we needed to actually do that, to be honest. Oh, God. I forgot that. That's fucking garbage. And you know what, I, that immediately, as soon as I pressed that jump, I got flashbacks of being a kid, and that garbage. Why do we roll on that log? But that is so garbage. I'm saving. Fucking trash. You have to jump that far away. Yeah, as soon as I did it, it was instant trauma, like, no, this is where you die. <laughs> the fact that t to clear the gap, you've got to jump from here and not over here in order to roll. Fuck you, Fantastic Dizzy. Subpar Dizzy. Bugger, I don't have my air. I think it's fine now. Even Dizzy looks out. He's, he's fine now. He's over it. It's really poor, that, though. The fact that he rolls at all is silly, to be honest. He doesn't need to roll, it just makes the platforming difficult. He only rolls though if you jump from a height, like a slightly different angle. I wonder if we had the oxygen tank though. Maybe you would live, but then I guess that water always kills you maybe, because I don't think you could jump out. What the hell is that pail for? I just can't visualise it. We're we taking it to Zack's castle? Alright, let's go free Denzel. Finally. I can't believe how long it is to get to free Denzel. I thought it was from, you know, all of this part was near the beginning. Denzel's like one of the last things that you can do. Nom nom. Oh, I didn't need it. Whoops. There he is. Let's go see Denzel. Hot fire falls the ice and Denzel is released from his cool jail. He is very grateful and gives you his flippers. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm just gonna scoff these because I'm not coming back, am I? Get the points. I don't think the points do anything though. Uncool Denzel. <clears throat> Thought out Denzel. Do you know what's triggering me and I'm going to show you? This has been bugging me every time I've walked past. Can you spot what's triggering me? There's a bit of a hint because it's right next to Dizzy but where's Wesker? I keep walking past it. Where is Mark Wesker? 
this missing pixel on this bridge is just bugging the shit out of me. I just want to fill it in every time I walk past. Yeah, it's just like it's getting my LCD like really going. Like every time I've walked past, I'm looking at the wall and I'm always like, why is that empty? <laughs> oh, there's another one. It's slightly misaligned. Why am I even coming up here anyway? I don't need to be up here. Let's go. You can't see it now. Look, there it is. <laughs> what is that bucket for? Right, we don't need this umbrella. I don't think. What is it? An empty bucket. What do I put in it? I'll just stay there. Some art of lifestyle missing fans. Oh my god, yeah, you click it and the whole thing would go wrong. Dun, 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 dun. There's another game that Codemasters made, made that I'm looking forward to doing. You want an Art Alive, Art Alive t-shirt made with Art Alive graphics. I'm tempted to make it a redeem at some point to do like 15 minutes Art Alive at the end of a stream or something or the start. Micro machine. No, but I know what you're thinking. Um, I love this little puzzle game called um, SOS. SOS Man Overboard. It's like Lemmings. And Codemasters made it, I think. Bum, 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 bum. You never played that, another name that. I really liked it, it was really cute. That's good lemmings energy. It's also, it's. I think it's personally a little bit closer to like Krusty Super Fun House. If you play that, then Lemmings. It's a lot more like Krusty Super Fun House, which is also something that I'm looking forward to playing because I loved Krusty Super Fun House on the Mega Drive. It's such a like hidden gem in my opinion. take this, whatever it is. An empty treasure chest. Mm. I only got all these stars though. Oh, there's loads up here. Oh, we do get stuck on the screens, don't we, Dizzy? Oh my god, why can't you just go up? Oh, whatever. Let me get this one first. Crazy fish. I'd have missed these. 39 stars. Right, we need to... Oh, I was about to put the item down. But I just remembered, if you put the items down here, he'll die. The game's lovely like that. I put that down there, and then I put the oxygen one down there, and then he'd just die instantly. <laughs> need to go get that coin. I don't know what it's for though, but I think we need it.
38. Thirty-six. I think that they need you to have that, and so I don't know. It shouldn't be intentional. They shouldn't let you down there unless you've got the flippers. A large gold coin. I don't remember what the large gold coin is for. And an empty treasure chest. I don't think we need these flippers and oxygen anymore. But I'm not sure. I have no idea what this box is for. Oof. I don't understand. Carver Bay, access the grasslands from Carver Bay is what the empty treasure chest does. And then the gold coin gets your magic beam from the shopkeeper. Maybe there's multiple ways to do this? A pair of brass symbols, thick Persian rug. We need that for Zach's castle. Magic green beam. Troll's castle. Oh, we're not. That isn't even Zach's castle, is it? Shit. Rebuild bridge. I don't think that's even the final castle. I'm not sure though. Oh god. I thought Zach's castle was up there. Apparently there's a troll's castle. Or did I miss it? Wait a minute, is troll's castle the porticulous one? Did I miss something in there? Uh, yes it is, troll's castle. Oh, I've missed something. God. A complete DIY rope bridge kit is in the Troll's Castle. <sighs> Nuts. What the hell does this bucket... I need to know. What does this bucket do? Are you ready for the greatest mystery in life? Douses the fire. How does it douse the fire? Because it's empty. Oh, this is a bit silly. <clears throat> I think we need it. I think we have to get let a droplet fall in it. Silly. I guess we need all that's for. Uh, how much health have I got? I do need that, so I'm just going to take it over. I don't think there's much else to... too much left to do, though. Hopefully all that side... Get 
those coins. They, I, I think that's just the back of them. I don't know what the gold coin is though, or the empty treasure chest. I don't remember whether I actually need this crossbow to go in again or not, but we'll have a look. Where is the castle? Oh, it's quite far away. Um, hmm. I wonder if I still need the crossbow. Whatever. I'll just take my chance. No, but I want the umbrella. This is a choice. I'll leave that. That's the... Hmm. I wish I'd left the crossbow outside that castle. Oh, fuck. Where is the castle, though? Down and across. I'm gonna go back and just grab that rug and bring it over here. Ooh. Dun 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 dun. Wait, what? Is this the right way? Yeah. <laughs> Micro machines will be a good one, though. At least if my memory serves me well. I think it's a bit difficult, though. I can't believe how many there were, though. I only remember. I think I played one and two. I think there's like a tanks one and something else. I wonder if I need to take that. No, I'm not I don't need to. Let's just leave leave some of this here for a minute. I love the backgrounds here, these like little Tudor houses looking things. Right, do we have to do this again? I really hope not. No, we don't. Okay. Although it really wasn't that bad, actually. So I guess the context of the story, this is the troll's castle. Maybe that's why we got rid of that troll. I would love to know where the item is that I'm missing from here, though. I don't see it. supposed to be a bridge D oh it's oh for fuck's sake that I thought it was part of the scenery Ugh. I actually was gonna comment on that and say oh it looks like something from another game it's the item let's get out of here get out of here let's go 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 The item you need is blended into the scenery. Yeah, it just looked like a thing that I could like jump on part of the platform. Oh, and I've lost health. Right, I don't need this. I do need all of this. Um, the umbrella's gonna have to go for the moment. Oh, 
fucking bad. Boing. Where am I going? The graveyard. I do this every time. Ah! No, spider. No! They're so random, erratic pattern. You just. It's often just a fluke whether you get away with that or not. I mean, I don't understand. Is he going to give me, like, more beans? Well, can we just go to the Wizard's Axe Castle now and, like, is this it? Finish the game, maybe? I think I've got everything that I need. We do need to collect some water though. Oh, I'm gonna get my health back first. That bridge, that's just silly though, that you would to even know to do it, but. Boing, 35 stars. Get the key. 34. Now, apparently, we need to collect a raindrop with this pail of water, and apparently you can get one from in here. Somewhere. Oh! Not there, though. Or maybe not. I'm not sure how to fill this bucket full of water. See something empty bucket. It says, "What? Pick up a gym Walk into any bucket here and press one. Oh, how can you press one? Is this on the Mega Drive? There's no one on the Mega. Oh, this is the Sega Master System. I was looking at the wrong guide." I'm kind of over this this bit of the puzzle. I don't remember what to do with them. I just did dizzy for the Genesis. Giga brain strats. Right, here we go. I just want to know. I don't. Pick up an empty bucket. Step into the pool and drop the empty bucket. Oh, I thought the bucket killed you. That's why. Well, not the bucket, but the. I thought this. I mean, it makes sense. I'm going to save because I don't trust this. I thought this water would kill you. Oh. Oh, look at his fucking face. Full of it. I meet the bucket full of water. The bucket was right next to this as well. You know, I tried using it from the side and didn't do anything. I didn't have to stand in it. So every water in this game has killed you. Silly. Well. Oh, piss off now. Four lives. We should be okay. We should be able to finish this. There's not much left. Whoopsie. Drives me nuts too, especially in ancient point and clicks. And that's what just happened to me. This, uh, oh, I've already got rid of it. The bridge kit thing. I thought it was part of the background. Too many items. How am I supposed to get? Am I going to have to make two trips? This is silly. I have to make two trips. And there's a thing over there that I need. A little star. This, this not to bounce me like that. Try and get that food. 
Oh, you wanker. No, it's gonna go into the water and die. Oh. Okay, we live. This is the really kind of rough bit of the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you on a roll? Oh shit, that was a bad choice. This butterfly is the MVP of the game. Can't get past him for shit. Get him going. Oh! No! I need to get that other one now. Oh, I don't know how you get there. It's very difficult, this part. Can we keep going up and up and up? No. Wrecked by butterflies. This is the story of this game. Oop. Oop, made it. Whoops. I, I, but I need to get this star though, so we're going to have to do this at least another time. Whoa. Okay. Bounce. Don't land on the snail. Don't land on the snail. Thank you. Oh, we're going to have to go up again though, because I've got to go back to get this fucking key. Ugh. Flies are high up the food chain than eggs. <laughs> Natural predator. Oh, get lost. Right. Go, go, go. I don't know which way to way I'm going. Whoa, Mr. Butterfly. Oh shit, that's the right way. Well, we've got to do two trips anyway, so whatever. Boing, this is Zack's castle. The end of the game. The final confrontation. Let's open that. Um, mm, uh, ee, ooh, uh, uh. I need to get that. Star. I also need to... How do you get down without dying? Wow. I think we have everything we need to finish the game. I'm very much hoping. I'm really hoping I've not missed the star. Boing. Don't touch me. Oh my god. I did say boing, I guess. I feel like I spend 80% of my stream saying don't touch me. I'm getting very dizzy right now. Oh, fudge. Oh, go on. Is that everything? Is there anything over there? I, I, I don't think... Mm, I don't think so. 27 stars. Is that enough for the end? I don't remember. Maybe 25 sounds better to me. Ooh. Freaky freaky time. Spooky final dungeon music. I'm really worried that I've missed something though. Ooh. 
What is that jank all about? How am I supposed to get past this spider? Oh, like that. Okay. In OG Mist, there was one thing that you have to click on. It's kind of a reward thing. There's literally three or four pixels big, and I checked the guide for hints on that. There's something like that in Gabriel Knight 2. That was ridiculous. This is also the stupidest crap ever. This puzzle. Ever. In the history of ever and ever and ever, this is the stupidest thing. Why the hell do you put an old rug over a bunch of spikes? Like, honestly. But whatever. Who am I to judge? Ever, ever, ever. Since records began. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a little bit silly, though, right? This is the worst music of the game. It's like four notes. Twenty. I've got a real bad feeling we've missed something. Eighteen. Oh, motherfucker, I need the rope. Oh, my God, what a dick move that is. You don't even have enough, like, slots of carried it here. Oh. What is this game doing? What a mess. Well, I'm going to get the stars first. Oh my god. Death by a fireplace. <laughs> Fried eggs today. What the hell? Oh, it's for the water, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Not so fantastic dizzy. Char grilled dizzy. Three lives to go. Eep. 13 stars. No use giving me moons now. Lost all my health. What's this other one? I don't want that yet. Am I supposed to jump up something here? There we go. Oops. Ooh, seven stars. Crunch dizzy. Dizzy souffle. Try the grey stuff, it's delicious. Girl, are you okay? <laughs> right, I guess we're trotting back to the start of the game again to go and pick up that robe. Trash. Where did I leave the robe? I don't remember where the robe is. Is it back at the village or did I leave it in this town? I'm going to save to save time. I'm going to check the village and if it's not there I'm going to walk back here and go and check the other way. Oh, I forgot. Don't kill me. Oh, you bastard. Almost. Where did I last use the robe? I put it down somewhere. I put it down and I said, I don't think we need... Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. I put it down and I said, I don't think we need this anymore. I might even take the minecart back just for a shortcut. Get it done. One more, and then maybe, you know, Chrono Gear can see how janky the fucking minecart is. The only thing that I'm willing to save, scum. Because, you know how long I've been playing this Chrono Gear? I've been playing this game for about three or four hours now. If I run out these three lives, it's just like, see ya, start again. <laughs> Is 
Don't need those. Where's the damn rope? Where did I leave the rope? I think I left it in town. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to walk. I don't care. We'll take the slow way back. No saves. No saves. This game needed... Well, it, it doesn't need a save because it's not super long if you know what you do. Like, when you play it enough and know what you're doing, it's not bad. The, the only prob the problem is, is the live system is unnecessary. It should have just, like... I don't know. When you die, it should, like respawn you maybe back in your house or something like as a punishment and you have to walk back I don't know or give you continues or something or just have more lives it's just a bit unnecessarily cruel but you just have to be really careful all the time um, where am I going this way all right I'm hoping that this is the end of the game though because there's quite a few occasions. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you the janky minecart. Let's go the the, the minecart way. This is death. If you fall down there, it's instant death. And you only get two lives at the start, and then you have to collect more as you go. To a maximum, I think the maximum lives you can get is six or five, because you can find these scrolls in game. That give you an extra life if you complete a puzzle but there's only three of them in the game so yeah two plus three there's five five extra lives maybe there's one more that i don't know about but there's a couple of really nasty moments in the game that tend to just give you a game over one can be this bubble mini game where you can drown quite easily although i did it mostly okay tonight it's a bit forgiving but this bit here this mine car is what would often have killed my games when I was a kid. Fortunately though, which I've realised this time, is you can actually do it quite early on in the game, so you can just kind of like rip and start not lost much progress. But even when Barley Bat was here, it's like she had a memory of this game too, and I said, oh, you played Fantastic Dizzy when you were a kid, do you remember that? And we both were bonding over the fact that this minecart is trash. Just trauma as a child, but off we go. Basically, every wrong turn is instant death. And you, you need to memorise the route. Oops. Oh, nearly died. When you first do it though, there's some silver stars to pick up, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a hint, but this, the last like quarter of it, it's trashy. And also, if you go the wrong way and live, you might miss the stars, then you have to do the whole thing again, but then some of the stars are gone, which makes it really difficult, a bit like that Toy Story level. Um, I don't know. But you have to do it at least once. Fuck, we're dead. <laughs> or not. Unfun trial and error. Yeah, except you've only got two lives, <laughs> usually, or a few more. And often, when I was a kid, this is what would give me a game over and stress me out. Because if you miss one star, the next time around doing it is going to be even harder because the stars are gone. You can sort of see, but it's the very end where it. Oops. Bugger. I thought I pressed right. This is just, if they could have improved the game while still keeping most of it intact, I think this minecart shouldn't have been instant death, it should have just made you restart, but doesn't kill you. Would have been fairer. Just, oh no, try again, or something. Oh, 
Oh, wrong way. But that'll do though. I think that's fine. This is close enough to where I wanted to go anyway. But yeah, it goes on a little bit more. Not too much more, but a little bit faster. But this is actually, oh, this is the perfect exit. Being able to take a few hits. Yeah, the other minecarts. But no, it, it just kills you and it's instant death. The bumpers are instant death. The minecarts are instant death. And then there's also three exits to one of which is just totally wrong and just sends you back to basically where you were. And then one that brings you here, which is just get... The exit that I just did gives you an extra life. And then there's one more exit, which is the exit that you actually need to get an item in order to continue with the game. Oh. Boing. Oh, mother f <sighs> Whoa, that was bad. Come on, Fantastic Dizzy. No, you... Whatever, whatever, it's fine. Right, I'm, I'm really worried that we haven't missed the star though, but I can't think where we would have. It should be okay. Seven stars left. Sugar. I don't even remember how to do the final boss, which I'm sure is also pretty jank and kills you quite easily. Oops, I'm gonna go get that fruit. But other than those little complaints that I've mentioned, I think this is a really good game. I always liked it as a kid. I love the puzzle solving, using the items and running around. It, it's that, got that point and click platformer feel about it, which I always enjoyed. And I, I think they could do something fresh with it. You know? They could totally do something new. How am I supposed to get that star? Can I just like walk off? Uh, there we go. Six. Five. It's a pretty cute game. Four. Very worried. Do I have enough? It's really cute, and the music's really nice. You know, we were talking a bit about Western developed games and music. This is one that's good. Got good music. This is a, It's a British company that's made this one. Oh, we have got enough, too. There's an extra life as well. That's nice. Three. One. Let's get the extra life. And we can enjoy this music one more time. Oh, I love this music so much. Just chill out. Simple mood. It's the kind of sliding puzzle that Big Tall could do as well, you know. Got that good sliding vibes. Almost done. Ta-da! So 
So I guess the maximum lives would be six, which is just about as much space as there is on the screen. If I hadn't died twice already. Which is honestly, this is a good run. I know I've cheesed the, the minecart by saving, but I, I don't really care. Oh, one more. Well, I did, and I, I did reload that stupid soft lock as well in the room, but I couldn't get out of. How can I get that? I am also tempted, because I don't remember what's coming, and I'd like to just finish this game. I don't know what happens with the wizard Zack. Oh, well done. You've collected all the stars and can now enter Zack's tower, where Daisy is being held. Go, Dizzy. Go. Let's go. Oh. Alright, this is the end, I believe. But I do vaguely remember that I think this is very easy to die. Oh. Help me, Dizzy. Go, Dizzy, go. Let's go. Donkey Kong Dizzy. Why is he moving so slowly? Oops. Doesn't bounce. We got whoops. We got four lives. It's uh all good, it's all good, or not, I don't know. Boing. Oh, I've lost all the rhythm. What is going on? Whatever, whatever. Just get me up. How am I doing this? Ooh, it's quite tricky. Ah! Fuck. He doesn't jump the same as he has been jumping for the majority of the game. Ugh. Dead. Pretty hard. Oh! Oh, we spawn right where we were? I wasn't expecting. Oh, fuck's sake. Ugh. barely even know what to do with this. It's too slow. It's like impossible. I also have no nostalgia for this part of the game because I could never do this as a kid. I've never seen When I was a little kid, I don't think I ever saw this bit of the game. It was only as an adult when I did it. Ah! Oh my god, Dizzy, why does he fucking roll? It's awful, this bit. You can't even... There's nothing you can do with this. I don't think. Can't. Fuck it. I'm reloading this shit. I don't see how you're supposed to even dodge it. I've got two lives left, but whatever. He's hard-boiled at this point. I just need to be fast. Mostly ignore it. Right, there we go. This is better. Better, better, better. 
Uh, are you for real? Oh, what the fuck is that? What the hell is this jump? Don't fall. How am I supposed to do this? Oof. I don't see how you actually expected to dodge this. Oh no! No! Stop rolling, Dizzy! Stop rolling! Oh. <laughs> it's yet another game dreamy that just ends with trash. Except, I refuse to redo the last four hours of the evening because of this garbage. I guess this would technically be my last life. If I hadn't reloaded. Whoops. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> oh my god. Last life. I don't even know how. You gotta time this jump. Woo! The end. Now don't fall down. Ooh. 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 Yay! Ooh, I yanked that capture card. Ugh. I consider that done. <laughs> Fully experienced. Score. Somebody did. Fantastic, Dizzy. Good job. Thanks for playing this game. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's a cute one. This was, if anybody's wondering what we're talking about, Retro, Retro redeemed this game tonight and we played this one. It's a good game. I mean, I had no objection to play this game because I think it's a wonderful little game, so I was very glad that you did redeem it. So much so that I'll mark it done on my list as well. <laughs> it's a good game, though. Original design by the Oliver Twins who went on to found Codemasters, full of egg. Copyright Codemasters software. Gone. I've just literally put my controller down and I've lost it. That was a very cute game. Let's mark that, that off as done now. Oops. So done that I've just like knocked the HDMI. Where's it gone?
Oh, it hasn't affected the stream, though. It's just affected my TV. There we go. <clears throat> number count. I call that number 39, don't you? Whoops. 39. Done. Is the game cut off a bit to the right? Uh, I guess it is, then. Interesting. Has it, it must have been like this whole time. I wonder why that is. Has this reset itself? I guess there's just a smidge cut off. In fact, I think you're right. This is why just this just this scene, I think, is wider than the rest of the game. 